And we are live. Hey guys, welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined by a bunch of girls and McQueen in the building. And McQueen in the building, man. Back in the building, man. So, uh, guys, let's get into it. All the night in my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. To I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious, get the f- out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not how this would seem. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's my thing. We are All back. Right. We are back, guys. Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Uh, guys, so uh, we got a great show for you guys planned today. Uh, thank you. Um, so uh, quick announcements. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, where you guys can see all the behind the scenes, exclusive content. And yesterday, we had a kick out yesterday. Um, so <laughs> uh, if you guys watched yesterday's episode, it was a girl in a black hat. Chat, I tried. Crazy. That chick and, was uh, loco, man. Like, yeah, man. I don't know. Like, real talk, she was stupid. But anyway, I like, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Wait, who are we, on? We oh, predicted that she was going to get Frank Castle. <laughs> we predicted it early on. Yeah, we did predict it. Yeah. Um, but hey, man, it is what it is, guys. So yeah, check out, uh, if you guys want to see behind the scenes of what's going on, goes on behind the scenes, like us kicking out annoying girls, coaching, when if you want to get help with real Zoom estate calls. investing, cryptocurrency, making money, because, you know, obviously we entertain, but we also teach as well, guys. Uh, credit, uh, improving your credit, just becoming a better man. Fitness, you know what I'm saying? Getting in shape, not being a fat POS and getting your dick sucked so your stomach's not in the way. All that stuff, we teach you guys. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit. Also, on Spotify, Google, and every single podcast platform that you listen to. Just make sure you wear headphones because you might lose your job. We've already had a Lyft driver and a guy that worked at a, a, a hotel. No, no, sorry. Condo complex. Condo. Lose their job for listening to our podcast out loud. Guys, we live in crazy times where freedom freedom of speech is not necessarily free anymore. You could lose your job. So, guys, wear headphones. Invest in a pair of AirPods when you listen to us, right? Uh, also, get the merch. Freshshirtpodcast.com. I just spent literally three minutes lint rolling myself before this thing to show you guys this shirt so go ahead and get the shirt fresher podcast uh t-shirts we got four example shirts hoodies hoodies uh we got the uh, i feel like shirts yeah. everything is there check us out over there guys on fresherpodcast.com and also if you wear the merch and you tag us on instagram we will we'll repost, repost your story you. so uh so you get some little clouty right there and then fresh you want to talk about your blog channel yeah man so this goes behind the scenes of my life trey's life chris's life and myron's life you get to see our travels our dates happens on the show after the show so check it out it's there on the vlog channel exactly and then uh, also guys we're on twitch so if you guys want to see these t- titties in 1080p for real <laughs> go on twitch.tv slash fresh of it podcast close that porn hub tab and check us out over there on twitch because the quality is better way better and uh shout out to trey we got trey in the house right now he's sick as hell but he's back there managing the twitch chat yeah. guys so go ahead and give him uh, a michael jordan flu game type uh love trey's he's, back he's man. out here dead um but he's here uh, so shout out to Trey. And then also, guys, uh, Chris just made, a.k.a. Aaron Pox, and we don't know his real first name, but he made a Twitch account as well. Twitch, uh, Chris, you want to tell about it? Yeah, follow me on Twitch, Vital Reactions. I will bring some of the ladies onto the show to uh, game with me um, and start, join me on stream. So make sure you tune into my IG for updates, all right? Bang, bang. Awesome. All right. And then, uh, guys, for any video reactions, go ahead and DM Trey Talk Sports on Instagram. Uh, thank you for the submissions that came in that we're going to react to today. We tag everyone that we get the submission from that is uh, someone like um, if you gave us a content idea and we react to it, we'll put you in the description box. And then finally, uh, Chris. And ladies, if you want to come on to my show, send me a DM. Uh, make sure that because um, then I can, book, I can book you. And if you have a husband, a boyfriend, <laughs> and if you're from other state, please fly him in. Bring them. Yeah. Bring his ass with you. <laughs> All right. So, I, real talk. Like, I, I, I'm tired of, oh, I'm, I'm married. I got a fiance. I got a serious boyfriend. I'm going to come out here alone. No, you fucking ain't. You're going to bring him with you, and he's going to sit in the studio. Yeah, we facts. don't want to deal with no bullshit, man. We got enough girls of our own. We ain't going to deal with no drama of your boy. Oh, well, you're a fresh report girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you fuck my girl? Like, no, man, no. So bring that dude with you. Uh, and then uh, Fresh Report Podcast on uh, Instagram, Instagram, guys. Follow us there. And, uh, yeah. All right, cool. Let's Chris, introduce Chris, the ladies. Chris, am I still good? You can hear me, bro? Yeah, we're good. All right. So uh, let's introduce the ladies and then our senior sure. guests. So uh, we'll start over here. So ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, and then your current dating status. And we'll start here. 
Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Natalie. You can call me Nata for short. I just recently graduated with a BA in communications. Um, I'm 23 years old and I'm currently talking to somebody. So mm. Cool. All right. Did you use your communication degree to talk to that person? No, I did not. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. Hi, I'm Christy. I've been on here. Before, Welcome back. So Welcome back. Thank you for having me. I'm 36. I founded a nonprofit, Just Give Miami, and I have a few more uh, projects in the works and single. Okay. Did you found, hey. found those uh, friends too? What friends? I'm sorry? <gasps> what? I didn't. <laughs> I never mind. He was talking about your titties. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It, it was uh, some kind of a. Uh, was that a compliment? Yeah. I guess that was a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. It, it I think he's trying so to say your boobs look oh, nice. Yeah. They bounce. Yeah. There the you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay. Okay, I'm reloaded. All right. But um, it's still not get that please. I'm reloaded. <laughs> yeah, I told you guys, yo, on Twitch, you guys can see those cities even. 1080p. Twitch.tv oh, slash Fresh of Podcast. Oh, uh, so um go ahead. I'm Kyra, Kai for short. Um, I make jewelry, I crochet, you know, wearable art. I also model as well. I'm just an all-around creative. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And your, your current status? Single. All right. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I'm Lana. I'm a personal trainer, and um, I'm single as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what about age? Oh, 30. 30. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 30, 30 or 33, you said? 30. 30. Okay. Okay. Right. 30 personal trainer. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm 24. Did I say that? Yeah. Yeah. What's your age? I'm 24. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Um, my name is Amanda. I'm 22. I'm a biochemistry student, and I'm Ooh. single. All right. Cool. Mm hmm. Hi, my name is Nina, and I'm a clothing designer, and also I do entertainment management. I'm 28, and I'm single and happy. Okay, oh, she had to add that oh, other part in there. Happy. Oh, yeah. that's happy that. for me. I'm single and happy. It's the happy for me. <laughs> but deep down, she has like that mask that's like, it's happy, but behind she's like crying, like, oh, God, this is bullshit. <laughs> do you guys see that meme? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what about, um, wait, do you have any pets? Oh. No, not anymore. You will soon. Oh, not anymore. Oh, shit. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> All right. Let's see. My name is Danielle. Fresh. I have a fish. <laughs> and okay. a dog that a doesn't love me as much as I love the dog. Same. But <laughs> I'm a tattoo artist. I've been tattooing since I'm 17. I'm a quarter century old. Do the math. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. Ill. Oh. Okay. But also, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love her. Also, face. yeah. I think lovers face. That's it. Okay. All right. What, what kind of fish you got? Goldfish with? Um, no, beta fish. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. And then okay. also, I have a little propagation station, hydroponics fish tanks, period. <laughs> propagation station. Okay. <laughs> Just right. fancy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Welcome Skylar. Back. Welcome back. I was here two days ago, um, but I'm 27. Um, I'm a cardiovascular technician. Ooh. I do OnlyFans as well, and I also do sponsorships for um, products on Instagram. So, yeah. cool. All right. And I'm single. All right. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm Haley. I'm 26, and I sell medical ionizers water ionizers and i'm single all right welcome all right cool is cool. everybody here from miami no broward no. but i mean uh oh you know. delray and me delray <laughs> yeah damn i got i got flashbacks from broward county, broward county. Uh, oh, okay. from Boston. Call me Kodak. Hello. okay What's are, are, to be? are you from i know you're from uh from new york here. Where are you from? Toronto. So, okay. Oh, Canada. Canada. So, hey, okay. shout out to Canada. <laughs> the six. Right. Price is going to hit on you after the show. Hey. And then, uh, where are you from? I'm originally New Hampshire, but I live here now. Okay. All right. Cool. Live free or die hard, right? Yeah. No state income taxes. Cool. Uh, yep. The best state, actually, anyone that asks me, hey, where should I live in New England? I always tell them New Hampshire, if you're going to pick New England, which is a terrible decision, but <laughs> it's the best of the worst. Super chats, real quick. Okay. Super chats. Uh, we got Black Lemur here, man. He needs to, he needs to be first, uh, uh, Chris. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, because remember the super chat thing is yeah, messed up. Yeah. So okay, Marlon Rick is five hours. Let's hope nobody gets Frank Castle blessings tonight. If they do, we don't care. Steve A. Smith. All right, thank you very much. Cool. Appreciate the donation. Uh, Bumba Clat ten dollars. I can already smell the cap in <laughs> caps in the air tonight. Also, shout out to Chris for holding his own against these disrespectful thoughts on the show. Uh, <laughs> love the content, boys. City boys, we up. 
Aqua nigga. All right. Aqua nigga. Splash, splash on your bed. On your bed, nigga. Then, uh, Drew and hilarious. This is, the chat is already roasted. Drew and, uh, Drew and Pringle, 10 hours. Drew and Pringle is going to collab with McQueen and Fresh and Fit one day. Y'all watch. Here's a little support. In the meantime, bruh, bros. Thank you so Manifest much. Manifest it, brother. Uh, Manifest it. 143 uh, is love. Five hours. Love y'all. Keep it up. I'm a female, by the way, and I appreciate the insight. And FYI, truth doesn't equal hate. Thank Aww, you so much. I appreciate that. A lot of girls hit me up on the side and say I'd be telling the truth and they actually appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yeah. a lot of them are in relationships and or married. So thank you. Uh, so, lo uh, so Lobo, 10 hours. Had a chick last night tell me I need to give her something to submit to. And I thought of your TikTok video. I sent her the conditionally submissive live stream after kicking her out, of course. <laughs> hey, 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 boys, we up, baby. Okay. <laughs> Daniel Anderson, Lacey, twenty dollars. I recognize all the hard work y'all are putting in, damn near every night. Your delivery is needed, Myron, and your perspective slash interpretation of how people move is always spot on. Set your feelings aside, ladies. It's worth it. Yeah, hey man, I told them before. Hey man, I'm going to tell you things you probably never heard before. Mister Sapo, no Wapo Sapo, ten dollars. Packed house, ladies. Have an open mind tonight. These guys spit facts. We try. Uh, Shinobi Devil, two ninety nine. Ninja Watchers for life. Shout out to Chris and Trey. Shout out Naruto. Yeah, shout out to you guys. Yeah. Uh, and guys, on your way in, please like the video. Like the video. Daryl Blake, 10 hours. For a second, that chick sitting next to mine I thought was Brittany Renner. <laughs> is, that, is that me or? Yeah, yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Who's Brittany uh, Renner? Uh, you don't want to know. Yeah, you don't want to know. Don't, yeah. uh, oh, is that a porn star? No, nope. no, it's cool. Okay. Much you worse. Are, much she worse. She must, she must will be. Okay. Uh, Evan and oh Company, my 10 hours. My girlfriend, three years, go. my girlfriend of three years is going off to college in two weeks. What should I do? Uh, sir, that is where you uh, basically Exit break up with left. her. Because oh. that is a... Uh, Everybody needs to watch Naruto. Yo. Yeah, so yeah. I'm sorry. I know that's <laughs> random. If she's going to watch Division one school in the first two weeks, she's going to be fucking an athlete, my friend. We got so just get rid of it now. Black Lemur in the house. The big 500 hour <laughs> chat. Dumb, 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 dumb. Haven't been able to take the last few live streams, so I've been catching up. Glad to be able to make it uh, tonight. Hood Rat uh, Chun Li was a classic, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, okay. the girl that Hood fell asleep on stream. <laughs> yeah, we had a girl fall asleep on stream. <laughs> From Broward oh, County, right? Wait. Yeah. From Broward oh, County. God, no. There was a girl that like fell that. asleep. Yo, it was like Her name was Baby V. Baby V in the house, <laughs> Pompano. I'm like, stop. No. That's Pompano. Baby V. That's gutter. That's gutter. Myra. Yeah. She was sitting here and she just. Yeah, she like just dozed off. I don't know if she took a Zan or what. Yeah, I was a fan. Yeah. Uh, so, she's you know, from Pompano, so, then probably. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's from Broward. Don't get I'll show you the video sticker. after. Oh, oh, my God. God. She don't know. Like, I have what? flashbacks no, from no, like no, uh, no. Broward no. girls. Oh, okay. oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Can, I, can, that. I, please, can I please just say something? Yeah, sure. Sorry. Yes. Mm. Chandler Lessex. Chandler Lessex. Fuck you. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck your shit, bro. Fuck your shit, bro. So, guys, we already have 4,800 live viewers from this point forward. Uh, 20 and up. 20 and up. So I'm going to read cool. these super chats here, and then we got to get into the show. God damn it, Pedro. Five hours. My uh, my previously spent OnlyFans money will now go to your Patreon. Thank you for liberating my mind. Oh, You're wow. Welcome. Awesome, man. Uh, <laughs> Barba, 10 hours. Single, a.k.a. being ran through more than yellow lights. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, he's, he's making fun of the ladies on the panel. And then BBWs represent. <laughs> Yo, is the girl on platform? He's the girl that was on the show before. Nah, last week. bro. Yo, wow for uh, that one. No BBWs on the show tonight, but I know y'all be loving our thickness and secret and bring back my girl Cardi C. Yo, that is fucking funny, bro. <laughs> you guys are ruthless. Okay, Bo BXNR. Shorty got a degree in communication, still wouldn't know where she wants to eat. <laughs> Is that true? Got a rebuttal for that? that None of us do. None of us do. I do. That's okay. a gag. John Smith, five hours. Cardi C needs to be a recurring guest. She needs to make a Frank Castle rap that you can play whenever a Frank Castle moment happens. That's actually That'd be pretty funny. dope, though. Uh, Strike. Be How many more of these do we got, Chris? I don't Chris? know who Cardi uh, C is uh, or uh, what four that's more. about. Four more? Yeah. Okay. Strike, uh, strike kicker, 10 hours. What's Denzel Curry from 2016 XXL? Cypher doing these two spots to Queen's left. What the fuck? Wait, oh, what? he's Denzel saying Curry. He's, he's, uh, he's, uh, oh, he's talking to you. He's talking yeah, to you. Oh, he's talking about me. Oh, yeah. that was funny. Oh, yeah, 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 that was funny. Yeah. What? Oh, I didn't, <laughs> you guys want to say back to him? <laughs> Denzel Curry. LOL. He's, wait, Denzel Curry? <laughs> you know the rapper? Yeah. yeah. He said that you, you look. I like him a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't see it. Did you just say that she looks like a rapper? One of them. That's what you're saying. Uh, all right. Myron okay. Wesh wow, and McQueen in the chat. Uh, Elijah Simmons, 20 hours. Thank you so much. Ronan, 10 hours. Finally caught a live stream. Love the content. Thank you, Thank Ronan. Thank you so much. Uh, and then Tory. Tory Lanez. What? No, I mean, not really. No, it's not. Yeah, I was going to say. But yo. Oh, hold, on. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Funny story, though. So I got a DM two days ago. Real quick. You don't. Real quick. <laughs> so, got a DM two days ago from Academics. <laughs> he hit up Tory Lanez. 
He's done. He's done to come, on, come the show. on the show. Yeah, Woo! okay. Done. Lit. So shout out to academics and shout yep. out to uh, Pat Pierre. Yeah. Shout out to Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Gay, all those guys that put in the work yep. for us because they all shout came on the man. show and they're like, "Yo, this lit Tori need to come Tory. on." Tori, so, can uh, I say, Mike Tory. Chills? Please, please. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, accentuate Mike Chills' comment. Uh, oh, uh, I, I, we'll do that on, one right, right after. Okay, keep okay. doing your thing. No high value man wants uh, to wife and OnlyFans. Thought. Shout out to my guy Breezy in the chat. Okay, and then Mike Shills. I agree. Everyone should watch Naruto. Thank I agree. You, Shills. I agree. appreciate that. Agree. More. Ask fresh. Ask fresh. That's Jose fire. Rodriguez, 20 hours. This is for a bigger table. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, yo. Okay, I'm not going to expose too much. No, that's what Black Wolf, 10 hours. I expect the cat to be over 9,000 tonight. I got yeah, you, no. my friend. Go. It's over 9,000. That's shut. And then this is the last one. I'm reading 20 and up from this point forward, guys. Uh, McQueen, where did you get the black Capsule Corp jacket you wore I, yesterday? I bought a uh, Capsule Corp patch off of Amazon and I. Uh, Earned it onto my head. Oh, okay. DIY. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all better pay attention. Y'all okay. can't buy this. That boy putting y'all on. All right, <laughs> All right, cool. All right, we are caught up. Um, right. And then, McQueen, can you introduce yourself to the people yes. real quick, man? Special guest? My name is Megan McQueen. I'm a male porn star. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm a comedian, and I just do YouTube, and uh, I want to be become the greatest. I want to become an, an icon iconic artist uh, in, the comedian? in the comedian. No, artist. In comedian. the comedian world, mm. do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to be defined as just a comedian, exactly. Uh, that. Actor, that. comedian, that. anything like that, entertainer, whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know, creative, a creative, an icon. I want to become that in my own right and just stay in my own lane and just do my shit. I'm a comedian, that's it. That's how I could say it. Cool, it's fire. The simplest um, way I can say it. <laughs> and also, guys, for we're gonna read 20 and up, but if you do donate, uh, Chris is going to put your super chat on the screen so people will see it. So uh, yeah, don't worry, man. So we will still see your super chats. So all right, let's uh, get into the, the yeah, first. Fresh, uh, fresh. What gear is uh, of Luffy that, that is? That's four. Okay, cool. All right, so ladies on the panel, you've been dating here and there, hopefully in between. <laughs> what is your current mindset or your current thoughts on the dating market right now? And we'll is start it, right here. <laughs> and, and, then, and then name one thing you hate about it and one thing you like about it. So dating guys or girls, if you go both ways, it doesn't matter. What you like, what you like about it or what you don't like about it. Mm. We'll start here. Okay, I love people in general because I respect them as human Russia. beings, but people are also very complicated, and I am a person to dissect their mind until they can't even understand themselves. So, dating for me is complicated. Right oh, now. so you nag then? <laughs> what? Oh no, that's not me. That's coming. That's from Chris. <laughs> He's the, our producer. He's asking, do you nag the men? Um, a little bit, yeah, because I have hard, hard standards of myself, so I have high standards Cause it's like, for other people, it myself. Lost. So, so is that one thing that you don't like? Yeah, I okay. don't like that their people are complicated and, and have. I mean, I love them no matter what, but they have triggers and traumas within themselves that they're not aware of. Mm -hmm. So, McQueen, I don't like that about that about them, but I also like how the the color and character that they bring i like the color and character that they bring to the table also mm. okay so you like the newness of of meeting a new person but you dislike having to i guess help them self-improve maybe yeah you gotta deal, nag them? deal with their childhood trauma okay all right that i can see someone said that they don't see which one of you said that <laughs> uh, that was chris that was chris what's up uh, um when i was saying to uh crystal to uh put over trauma I just like the word that she used, triggers. <laughs> okay, Trauma. so I, that, I, that just shows how much you actually give a fuck about a nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Awareness. Mm -hmm. All right, so positive meeting new people, negative dealing with their trauma. Okay. <laughs> cool. No, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I would say the positive <laughs> of meeting new people is learning about them in general, getting to know about, especially from new cultures. Right. And that's really it. And then the negatives is um the same i would say the same thing as her i would honestly say the same thing as her is very course, creative of course you would <laughs> <laughs> no i wouldn't of course i would but i just i agree with what she has to say mm. is that's it i'm, I'm gonna cut it short okay look we want to hear like your niggas ghosting y'all niggas like cheating on y'all like what tell us the real real yeah, man yeah, 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 yeah. what you like what you don't like come on man our dudes broke like, yeah our dudes, like, our niggas yeah, broke? Yeah, yeah. say it with your chest like we're not gonna sit here and get mad at you and be like oh my god what's going on right now toxic you said you don't like broke guys like we don't care say what you want to say all right so i would say the positive <laughs> is that i believe in any relationship that i do attract within my matrix 
I have to take complete credibility or whatever the fuck when it comes to me. So the positive is that I'm learning a part of myself. This is actually super dark that I want to get rid of at this point in my life as a young 25 year old woman and dealing with men my whole life that are older than me because they've been attracted to me since I'm 17 based off of my mindset and where I've been at. I'm a psychedelic ass bitch. So (laughs) I've always had to deal with people there or do to do like I'm a businesswoman. So the positive is realizing that they have demons and they those demons have nothing to do with me and understanding that I'm able to relinquish that, which that's the positive I would say out of which is still dark and like not so positive. But I'm like, good to know that that's a part of me that I don't need. Um, And the <laughs> the negative what I mean, it's the same thing at the same time. So they're both. Positive and negative is equating to the same thing if I'm really thinking about it. Because I'm still like, I'm realizing what I'm attracting and I'm realizing what I don't want at the same time Mm -hmm. and realizing at what standard I sit as a child, really, when I got into whatever game or love, whatever the fuck you want to call this shit. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, Um, like that ass. Okay. So uh, just so I make sure I have this right, basically, your positive and your negative is releasing their demons. So basically, helping them deal with their past traumas. And no, it's it's exactly what that being said. And with that being said, is realizing what I really want being a female and a woman in this realm that we live in, dealing with the fact that the matrix, the realms. No, no, (laughs) dealing with the fact that. I understand money. I understand this. I'm a very masculine, very, oh, in a sense, but very female. I, shit. You know what? I'm very masculine, but female. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> so, hey, no, well, I'm a like, smart retard. No, so, uh, no, no, no. We can say that, but my energy is very, I grew up with a single mother with five daughters. So my mom was like, no, no, no. I will fix shit, but my dad wasn't there. So in my mind, I don't really... Look, I'm gonna do this real quick. Never need, never. Need well, you've only n- been going about seven minutes. No, I'm now, sorry, so sorry. No never need a nigga, never no time. I grew up with that, and I realized that's not the way to move with relationships. Right. But I have that energy upon myself, so I know what I'm gonna do. Knew what I was gonna okay, do. Okay. The the question was, what is one plus and one negative of dating in 2021? Both. Both. Okay. Okay. Both. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, uh, I, I go like you realize that they all said the same thing. Yeah. When you like a a box room, you yeah. give your answer. I yeah. nobody can hear you. I have to have Matt have you guys write it down in secret Listen, and then show what was the question in my room? I'm sorry. Yeah, what, is, what was the what, 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 what was the question? You, what is their negative and positive of dating? It's you didn't answer that question. No, <laughs> it's it's the same thing. Understanding it's that it's mirrors of myself that I'm dealing with in relationships that I'm attracting, and I don't want anybody, I don't want that she's shit. meeting when she's people talking about with traits trauma, of herself. Also, exactly. You're, you're so I'm going back to look at yourself. And I'm yeah. like, I'm good. Let me sit. Am I tripping or no? No, you ain't tripping, bro. Okay. Because yeah, the I'm answer, real. the question I, was. I ain't gonna lie. You, 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 All right, uh, back. Move it. Next person. Sorry. You, you said a lot without saying anything. Oh, uh, no not. offense. Right. Okay. And yeah. then also another thing I, I thought was very because I was listening very close to everything you were saying. You were saying when you were 17, guys were appreciating you for your mindset. I'll be very honest with you. No, they're mm-hmm. not. They're appreciating you because they want to get laid. Yeah. At 17, there's nothing that a woman can really do to help a man with a mindset. You haven't even lived life yet to be even in a position to. If you don't even let's have talk about grown ass from... men talking to young ass ch- children so that they like, can manipulate they well, them. Well, no, no, that's no, the no. The, the but point of... since you don't want to deal with someone that's there, you want to deal with someone that's hold on, hold on, there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm simply right. telling you that that's cat. When it got no dude is gonna like a 17 year old girl for her mind. You guys have n- at 17 nah. years old, right. you barely know how to wipe your ass properly. Like you're still a kid. <laughs> that doesn't you know make saying? any sense. You don't have enough life experience to draw from to, right. to be an authority in a man's life. Like right. that, that's a common lie that guys say, oh, I'm attracted to your mind. No, they're not. They're trying to get laid and they just don't want to sound like every other guy. Facts. Unfortunately, lie, but there's this different, you, different right? aspects of a woman that men look at. And it's not just about your mind or wiping your fucking ass. It's at least knowing how fucking society works. I mean, we're all men. At 17, yeah, you're not really going to know Unfortunately, that. you do. And that's what fucks you up. Okay. All okay, right. Next. Right. All right. right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I disagree, but yeah. The, I mean, th- that's cap. 100%. Right. All right. Guys are gonna guys are gonna tell you anything to get laid. I mean, and we know this. Okay. So go ahead and. Not so give then it shouldn't sound like a foreign line. language when I tell you he's probably capping to get laid. Okay. <laughs> At seventeen, okay. like Miss, what? Miss Toronto, save like us. All right. Yeah. One thing you like, one thing you don't like. Dating. All right. 
So the positive for me is more like experiences, you know, different dudes you date take you to different experiences. They take you different places. They show you a different time. And everybody has their own ways of like showing you how they appreciate you as a woman or how like they could be a, the perfect gentleman or how they could not be, which is the negative. So the ready? Ne- no, 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 I'm sorry. Focus on it. The negative for me is, yeah, just like he said, the ghosting, the capping, the being toxic, like just people not being completely themselves. Like I feel like some men just have a problem completely like taking off that. The mask. the mask, you know, That's like, not... b- like I get it. Like they want you to get to know them, I guess, more before they take it off. But I just feel like if, if we're just dating, why not just be your true self so I can like you yeah. for you, you know? Mm. So um, just so I can put this, I guess, so I make sure I don't misinterpret you. So you're, what you're saying is you have an issue with them not showing emotion and not being vulnerable, putting on a mask of toughness. Yeah, like just being somebody like that they think I would like instead of just okay. being themselves. Oh, they're Not pretending to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or like they might have uh, other relationships going on, like that part too, like having a girlfriend on the side or somebody they're talking to, and they're not mentioning it. You know. Mm. So it's just like, just be honest. We're dating. So, the, so the, basically, they're they're bringing up a, a part of them that's not them to prove to you that they mm-hmm. might be what you want. He's a yeah. player, but he's acting like a nice guy. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And okay. then what's the plus? Or the opposite. Just the experiences. Like, experiences. Okay. You yeah. still want to fuck even with the experiences? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what who said that. Is. How are you? Yeah. Okay. No experiences. Okay. The same. Bottom line. I would say the positive would out. be because we're I think we're like at a point where we're more social than we've ever been with technology. So the positive is that you can meet a lot of different people without even leaving your house. Right. And then the negative about that is because you have so many people at your fingertips, it makes you feel like people are expendable, but they're not. So mm-hmm. especially when you're young, you feel like, okay, well, there's like hundreds of people on my phone right now. So like that person is expendable, but they're, they're not. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's real. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. That's real. Mm-hmm. Um, the positive, mm-hmm. like meeting someone that's on the same frequency as you. So someone who understands you, you don't have to like explain things to, they already get it. And the negative is that it brings out your shadow self. So all those shit mm-hmm. you don't like about yourself, it like comes to light. And sometimes you're not ready to like deal with that, but you kind of forced to. Hmm. So the negative is it exposes dark sides of you? Yeah. I, I just want to point out like that's exactly mirror. what she said before. Yeah, literally. But that's we exactly wanted to act like said. that even though you're 17, you're stupid, but okay, that. Like, are you seventeen? No, I'm oh. saying when I was saying he was like, "Oh, you're you're you know dealing with saying. older people. You know they about. don't." And I'm That's like, not. "Bro, like it's a vi- like frequency wise. Mm-hmm. If you're young and you're on a certain frequency, they catch on to that. But you have to be able to maneuver and move around it, relationship wise. And the shit gets deeper. It's, it's honestly about up. you not having that security and that confidence in yourself <laughs> and other people being able to see that light and expanding on that. Shit. Yo, niggas just just want to bust a nut. Yeah, so. Like, yeah, it ain't that serious. Saying, it's no, not that deep. That. The, I'm, not girl. Girl. I'm not gonna lie. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. You're saying that. You said but a lot of the time, every relationship going on where dude. They might have some. Oh, um, let me. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You get. You said that you're girls, right? Uh-huh. And then you're talking about the age at 17. Did you uh-huh. know that the amygdala, which is the brain, part of the brain that it only operates through illogical uh-huh. things, emotional until things you're 25. like that, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, develop until you're 21. Right. 25. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 21. The average. Yeah. 25. <laughs> My, you might be right. My therapist told me 21. I don't know. Meanwhe, my therapist told me twenty one. Our grandmas were getting research. married off at fifteen. I'm just gonna put that out. There. My whole point is, is like you can't expect not just females but humans right. in general to operate with their logical part of their brain. When they don't have it, and when yeah. they don't have it, hmm. you're simply jumping to conclusions. No one said you're stupid you're for saying? being seventeen. I simply said at seventeen years old, as a woman, you are not in a position and or equipped. To be in a position where you can give advice and or have intellectual stimulating conversation with a man that's significantly older than you because you, you don't have, have enough life, life experience to draw from. I don't know how mm-hmm. you came to the conclusion, oh, I'm stupid. No, I'm <laughs> simply saying you have not experienced life to an extent where you're in a position <laughs> of authority to be able to give advice to a man as a 17-year-old girl. That's yeah, what I'm saying. There would be no advice <clears throat> given, but we're going to go to Kai. Next. I feel like a lot of men who be on that type of <laughs> shit honestly be chasing their youth. It'd be a part of themselves Thank that you. they be... They don't have any more. Like they lost it, so now they gotta go get it from young. Incorrect. Girl. Don't mm, you say that? Oh, but, in, incorrect. That men, yeah, men are. Hold on. 
Man. No, obviously, obviously, it could be very sexual. I'm not saying that it can't be that. I'm not denying that at all. But I'm just saying, like, it's a fact. A lot of men be chasing shit that they've lost. Like they be, feeling, they be out here filling voids. That's incorrect. That's so definitely incorrect. No, I'm, so I'm gonna tell you guys the no reason. Men don't be out here filling void. No, what I am Having saying is that a whole marriage, but cheating. Can you let me finish? Uh, go ahead. I'll, I'll answer your question for you because it is my turn. Because you're, go, you're, go ahead. Well, I'm answering your question. No, go ahead. So what you're saying is incorrect. It's not that men are chasing a void. It's that men are biologically hardwired. To want women that are young, beautiful, and fertile. Okay. Like right. it's a biological instinct. Just like you Biology, want a man that's science. Just like you want to date a guy that's tall than you, makes more money than you, more successful than right. you, higher socioeconomic but status. How do you know that that's what nobody I, knows that's that what I, we how want. How do you know that that's what I resonate with? Okay. Though. If I took, hold on, hold on. Exceptions do, do not make the rule. If I took 100 women, this is true. 90 to 95 of them would tell me, I want a man that makes more money than me, tall than me, le a leader, Older. confident, attractive, A type personalities. You guys can go ahead and be the anomalies. That's fine. But most hmm. women don't operate that way. Women never seek their equal. They seek someone who's superior to them in certain regards. Now, men, on the other hand, want youth, beauty, and fertility. It's been that way since the beginning of time. It's biologically hardwired. So hmm. it's not that men are trying to fill a void. It's, no, girls that are younger tend to be hotter and can carry children. Therefore, I can propagate my seed further along with a healthy young woman. Girls that are it's younger simple. are easier to manipulate and I can propagate oh, my... <laughs> but no, no but for real. Like, like, can we get is? back to the question, right, let's though? Get into like, it. I'm yeah. ready and I'm going to forget what I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine, but like, that, there's a biological reason for it, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, so. I love biology. Okay, so uh, Kai, could you give us one reason why you like dating and one reason you don't? <laughs> At this point, okay. Um, so one of the positives about dating right now, I guess, is it's pretty much kind of similar to what everybody else said. But for the most part, it's about building connection. Mm -hmm. And um, can I ask a question? Do you like niggas? You just said it. I do. It, you do. I do. Oh, yeah, I, just, I just wanted to ask. That. I do. <laughs> why did no question to you? Why do you ask me that? <laughs> Your aesthetic. It, it kind of makes you feel like, do you like this or do you like that? Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a mystery. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I fuck with that. <laughs> um, I mean, it's neither here nor there. But yeah, I do. I am attracted to men. But yeah, my positive, like I said, my pullback right now in this society. <clears throat> excuse me, it's not COVID. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dating, God, everything. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> My takeaway from everything right now is, yeah, pretty much building connection and learning yourself. Because right now, everything that we're doing, it's not really permanent. Mm -hmm. So in these years that we have right now, it's really, that's all it is, finding self-awareness and finding mm -hmm. out who we really are and what it is that we, we, we really want. Mm -hmm. um, and setting our boundaries so that we can get to the next step. But I would say that the negative is more so... The fact that a lot of people are very ingenuine because they're chasing a um, false narrative, like basically what's <laughs> going on in music and the industry and everything right now, um, just basically like piggybacking off of a lot of things that you were saying, um, what's displayed to be the norm and displayed to be the majority might not necessarily be that if you speak to like a different demographic of women versus like the same that's been put on display for the most part, what's trending right now, if that makes sense. Um, what um no it doesn't i'll be honest with you uh what, what i got from that was um people are not honest is what what i'm tracking <laughs> positive is building I mean, connections no, with I new did people start with that. i did start with that i did start with that the the positive is building connections with new people negative is people aren't necessarily honest and congruent and then you lost me with that last sentence the positive or two. was building connections with new people That's what and I said. learning yourself basically okay. like she said before and like she said as well okay. the whole mirror but the thing. negative is people aren't and honest the negative was yeah people being ingenuine and <laughs> building on a false narrative. I don't know if you're listening, but building, I'm listening very closely. Building, I'm actually taking notes down. Building on a false narrative that doesn't really exist, mm. if that makes sense. Okay, so they cap it. Like the whole, pretty much, pretty okay. much. People okay, are cool, living cool. up to this whole People rapper lifestyle that don't exist. People are living up to this whole scammer lifestyle that doesn't right. exist. So I mean, that, is, that is literally, people are not honest. Does, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, right. I'm just going into more detail because it's a podcast where we're supposed to, you know, put. No, I mean, you feel? know, being direct and concise is no problem. Like, you know, <laughs> like, the, not wrong with that, guys. You yeah, know? yeah. We don't need no, a word salad it. to describe what you just dislike in dating. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's got fine. it. So as little words as possible, got it. No, yeah. I, I didn't say that. I'm just saying, I, like, okay. keep it concise. Like, yeah, just get to the point because uh, the, the people watching are getting lost. Yeah, yeah. like you're confusing mm -hmm. the audience with all this extra stuff. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, okay. that's it. <laughs> so positives to dating, just having human interaction all around is that you get to 
find commonalities where you're interconnected, you know, just sheer hum humanity. A negative would be that sometimes people are living inauthent inauthentically unbeknownst to them just because, you know, they simply they're lying to themselves about who they are, where they are, what they're doing. And it's not something that they're doing necessarily to to uh, manipulate you. Okay. okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so just so I make sure I have this right, they lie to themselves to the point where they're even li they lie to themselves, and then that lie perpetuates further on to you. And this could be a negative that sometimes people aren't living on authentically. Okay, it's incongruent. Very so, similar to what she said. Okay, basically, they're living a lie. And then if you deal with them, you're living that lie with them. Pretty yeah, much. people right. don't know them, their yeah, true self. This is yeah. all circulating. Like we're all, all right. saying the Energy same thing. Energy can either thing. be created or destroyed. Okay. Hey, sorry. Um, Gernux Martin, stop staring at the screen, please, because you look kind of goofy right now. So I want you to focus on the conversation and Ooh. me and Trey. Who are you talking about? Who are yeah. you talking about? The girl next to mine. Right, right here. Oh, okay. So stop it, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, go ahead. So I would say a positive for sure is to get to know yourself because every person that you meet when you're dating teaches you a lesson or they're your soulmate. Um, so for me, it's Do you just, believe in soulmates? I do. Okay. I do. Mm -hmm. um, I would <laughs> say a negative is that a lot of men that i've personally met don't want to work through like a relationship if there's one red flag oh well there's this girl that is hotter than her so i'm gonna go for that the grass is greener yeah the grass is greener so it's like i'm looking for stability and i'm a very traditional kind of girl but not a lot of guys are into that so i'll have to respectfully push back on you with that because mm -hmm. women initiate most breakups Oh no! But that, well, I mean, I'm just speaking from my personal experience. I'm not speaking for everybody, but just do, for me. Do you personally. do you do you agree with what he just said, though? No, fuck you. I mean, I can't speak for everybody. Like do, I said, in I'm your just opinion, for myself. do you agree with what yes. he just said, though? I mean, of course, there's like give and take with everything. Like some guys initiate the breakup, and some girls initiate the breakup. But, but for me personally, I'm sorry. Where are they getting these statistics? I have. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. 80% of divorces are initiated by women. That is a fact. But why, the That is, wrong. okay, it's, What's there's a bunch of... What statistic? Can we Google this right yes, now? Yes, I have a full we, we list where yeah. we talk about this. Can I say something? I feel like it's, you just don't want to admit it because you are a woman. No, that's, <gasps> that's not where I'm coming from, though. What I'm saying is, is that with my personal experience, again, I'm traditional. I don't want to put out early. Like... You got to prove yourself to me that you're worthy of and me. A lot and of I can't. Right? Like so hold on, hold on. When a woman speaks, don't interrupt. They don't like okay? What I'm saying is. Hold up. Is that Who the fuck is you talking to? What are you talking I'm about? I'm just saying. I didn't like, interrupt you. I was speaking, you. but you're interrupting me. I did not interrupt you at all. Okay. What I'm saying oh, is, is that with my personal experience, I don't want to put out early. You have to prove yourself to me. And guys nowadays don't want to wait. They don't want to fuck around. They're like, okay, well, this girl's not going to put out, but this girl is, so I'm going to go for that. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. I'm just speaking from my personal experience. I'm What's not speaking easy? for all women. I'm not speaking for all guys. I'm just saying with me and my point of view, that's what I've experienced. They don't want to work. So I ain't going to lie. So what, what's up? I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'll be gone too. I ain't, waiting, I ain't waiting for shit, nigga. Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's so putting out. When so, you say so, putting so, out, does that mean? First, first and foremost, guys, hold on, hold on. Ladies, yeah. ladies, ladies, okay. ladies. Just wondering. Number one, I got to set this thing. Please respect the guest, okay? Relax. Like, don't disrespect the guest. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, uh, it is a statistical fact that women uh, initiate most of the breakups, and we have the stats to show that we can. You know, we'll be happy to share the stats with you guys, but 80% of divorces are initiated by women. Okay, seven, seven to eight out of 10 divorces are initiated by women. That's marriage. Now, if we're going to talk about uh, casual relationships, let's be honest. When's the last time a guy broke up with you? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hate to be that person. Okay, that's you. But if something is initiated by marriage, divorcing, yada, yada, statistics. It, was she being abused or what the fuck was actually happening? I'm sorry, okay, I hate moving, to be that. We're moving. No, no, no. All right, but really, okay. statistically, why? So right, here's the thing. Here's the okay, thing. Bet. I stay. You, you. I said. Okay. She said, "Oh, guys, don't want to work towards anything." Mm -hmm. I simply replied, "Well, women actually initiate most of the breakups." And you oh, said why? towards divorces. That was that is a statistic. breakup to the highest degree. All right, bet. But <laughs> the what are they proposing? When I can't now, say what I will say is a lot of can women. Can I finish my point? A lot of women do get married to men, and they have divorces for monetary reasons. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say that for real. That, but that doesn't change the fact that women do initiate most of women? the breakups. I stated uh -huh. a fact. I mean, women, why is it so, so, so I get it, but you don't okay. know why. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 
Why can't I tell stated, me why? I, want I stated a fact. I want more statistics Yo. with the statistics. But why can't we accept the fact when somebody's saying that it's a fact? We, why do we have to prove it? Why can't why, why, why is can't that, can somebody tell me something? I have to take it, but we're telling you statistically like, yeah, that's like, the truth. And it is statistically the truth. And you can't you want that you want us to show you in the middle of a live stream mm-hmm. when <laughs> if you watch their podcast, <laughs> they cast statistics. Yeah. Like, like, where are they? See, like what the fuck? Like simply know. put, yo, listen, I mean, guys, it's guys. The truth. Here's the thing. I like your notebook. Like, yeah, because I'm listening to what you're saying, you know, yeah. and okay. it, like I'm t- paying very close attention to everything y'all are saying. And I'm telling you, so it is a good. fact. Women initiate divorce seven to eight times out of ten times of divorces and on top of that with breakups women also initiate most breakups it is what it is now you're moving to goalposts well we don't know why they're initiating no, they could be getting abused no, like no we know that's why awesome. can you let me finish okay, can y'all let yeah, me finish <laughs> so okay we can move the goalposts and say well why are they initiating the breakups remember that's not the point right now the point is women initiate the breakups why well there's a bunch of reasons money tends to be the biggest reason yeah okay finances so and then we can go into all the other stuff but here's the problem when we use terms like abuse and emotional abuse, whatever. I'm not going to, uh, I'm just Subjective. going to keep it a stack with you guys. Women like to use ambiguous terms like emotional abuse or blah, 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 because there's no real definition for it. And it's open to interpretation it's from the person. It's, it's emotional abuse. And it's like, it could be him just not paying attention to her when he's working and stuff. It's just that women like to hide behind ambiguous terms a lot of the times to take account, to not take accountability for breaking up with a man or for cheating on him. That's the God honest truth. What about- Listen, marriage is a business. Here, ladies, here we go. Always- Here's the facts. Oh, yeah. there you so, go. Marriage ladies. has always been a business. <laughs> there you go. There's, there's a study right there. Click it real quick. Okay, yeah, let's so- get into it. We'll, it. We'll, it will show it to you. We'll, <laughs> but uh, we'll pull marriage it Marriage has been a business. There's a reason why they have marriage is- marriages that they have set up in different countries for a reason. We're talking about the United factor. States. You keep moving the goalposts. No, no, listen. You keep we're, moving the goalposts. We're, we're here now in America, in general, but women wise, do you not hear like, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, pause. You don't hear the, the city whole... girls? One at a time, one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. God, man. Right. Ladies, here Simply we go. Simply put, right there. Okay. <laughs> and, right. and I told you ladies before, it's a show. Don't get triggered. Oh my God. There's a fact. Don't get triggered. We have a conversation. Listen, does it have EDU at the end? Listen. Is it EDU? We have other studies as well. All right, because you can Google anything, and who the fuck knows what Google's putting These are studies, law firms right here. All right. So where's your stats? Where's my stats? Yeah. It's not even about how you feel. I'm sorry. Y'all don't even want me to. Yeah, but we're we're telling you facts, and then you're just talking about. I'm just this. About about divorce. We're in our feelings, but at the same time, you have to understand that. Well, you already lost if you're in your feelings. We're logically <laughs> exactly. speaking. Exactly. We're already not, lost. There's no feelings here. And I feel it's like just facts. Like flawless victory. Because y'all are Back arguing with emotion, feelings. and I'm telling you guys oh, that women initiate breakups. That's a fact. There's and no I'm way around to it. Tell you and then why. you try to move the goalposts. It's irrelevant why. I'm telling you that they initiate it. Period. And, we're and I just you told you the main reason is money. But you mentioned something like That's abuse. That's what I'm saying. And I'm telling no, you, before abuse. that, I said marriage has always been a business. It doesn't matter. So why even the in woman America, is- wherever you are, the woman is looking for her lineage to carry on. She is the maker of creation, period. She's not going to go with a nothing ass da 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 do 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 na 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 you can't meet my mom all right but it doesn't matter why the woman initiates the divorce it just matters that she's the one that initiated the divorce because she's the one that wanted to end the relationship not the man she wanted more from the relationship or wanted more from her life and wasn't getting it so she initiated it the man did not want more from the relationship there's a reason why there's a phrase like Like you said he wanted pussy but the women are the ones that are divorcing the men's more to be real with y'all i feel like all it is is, is March. basically set up so that set up long story short yeah set up mm-hmm. long story short um mm-hmm. the women are entitled to a certain thing and the men are also entitled to a certain thing there's mm-hmm. no common ground no one's entitled, no one's to, anything. entitled to anything there's, yeah what do y'all want they talk about like relationships they are, but look at the way society is moving right now yeah. like look at what the music is about women are society's taking pushing over. back again right. not talking about on. how they want men with money and they're not, going to, talk, they're not right. going to talk to you if you don't have no money that's you know, not you know true what I'm saying? that's and not true i'm not saying but just like he said as far as the majority we're not talking about the individuals we're not talking about the, the majority we're will, talking about will. the majority one at a time so what's, so what's Go ahead, going on so what's going on right now society that's the narrative that's being pushed what long story short Women want men with money, just like you stated. Women right. want women want men with money. Men want women with good pussy who can cook, who can be, who can do shit. You get what I'm saying? Who can right. do shit on the back end? Like it's not men. Just that's want pretty much. Sex. 
It's Isn't that really just what I just Myra. said? It's actually a biological just thing. Just Men just want sex. <laughs> Is that not it's what very I said? simple. So, so I don't, I don't understand. Don't so else. what's your argument? Yeah, what's the argument here? here? What's your argument here? <laughs> no, I'm saying argument. I was piggybacking off of what they just said because there was like, obviously there was a... All right, we're going to keep this very nice and, and organized. Men, uh, women initiate the breakups overwhelmingly. Fact. Why they initiate? Most of the time, finances. Fact. Money. It's a business. Now, but, but it benefits women. So what about the marriage? The marriage benefits women. It's a business. Significant, yes, that benefits yeah. women. That, yeah. That duh. benefits women. So, but why does economically? Why do you think yeah, people? Why yeah. can't it benefit? Okay, so for different, example, in different countries. For example, like, if eyes. you're the woman making the more money in the relationship and you get divorced from the man, do you expect them to take fifty percent of what you make? When does that happen? I'm Har hardly ever. But oh, yeah. see, we talking to hardly a whole. Different I'm talking group. about it me it probably, probably, No matter that. which way. And I'm goes, asking a legitimate question to the girl. She's asking it like put yourself in a man's shoes. Put yourself in a man's shoes. If you were to marry a guy, you were making the most money and you were the one that had everything and you were getting divorced and you had to give up 50 percent of that to somebody who didn't do have anything to do with that. You think because twice before you divorce. You would think twice course. about it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Right. Think twice Hell yeah. You have to think married. about it like it, like a man. Right, you can't yeah. just think about think it like a woman's perfect married. perspective. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's, bang, bang. that's a point. That's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's, that's why. why you think before you get married and stop living this whole Y'all shouldn't even be thinking about money with marriage. If love is money, why are we getting married? See, I can tell you guys are in your feelings about this topic. And I understand. This is a fat based podcast. We have a conversation. Sometimes Sometimes you're not because all the time you come nah. off. Y'all just y'all just y'all just, just here to argue. Bro. It's like twenty minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it one thousand. Y'all are just here to argue. Yeah, <laughs> like it, yeah. Here, I'll show me yeah. the statistics and then we show it to you. Well, that, 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 no, that, 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 because that. I don't fuck with right. Google. Right. Like I don't know. All right, where where are your stats then? That this Analytic. proves what I said. Um, <laughs> my stats deal with my personal experience. Kevin, there you go. And yeah. and it, it right there. Yeah, stop, yeah, stop, yeah, stop. Yeah. And if I'm okay. here, okay. Okay. Yeah. Kevin, 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 can we make it cute and do like a Kevin cute Terrell. little sound? Nah, man, nah. nah. That, like <laughs> that's one of the biggest things we say all the time. Like, bro, your truth is not the objective. Truth. Like a cute that's little sailor perception moves. only. Like it's objective. Yeah. There's a difference between objective can I, and subjective. Can I say yeah. something? That's your subjective reality to you, but that does not necessarily mean that it is the truth. But can we define? Nobody said anything was the truth we're just a bunch of people sitting at a, a table hey and ladies we're talking. ladies no listen listen it's, but i love it we, we have a shorter run let's yeah. raise uh super chats sure. first yeah you're diluting the quality of the show though yeah, like when you're just like talking <laughs> to talk like you're not even bringing up like statistical fact like you're just talking to talk to I'm trying to follow it. I can't with follow all due respect yeah like you, you're just talking to talk all right, all right. kevin terrell 25 bucks <laughs> that's the truth yeah uh kevin My terrell myron and fresh look like the guys who watch a movie in front row seats at a movie theater y'all phasing out of the frame, dope and camera angles, Chris and dope uh, and good sound tray. What's up, uh, McQueen and ladies? Thank you so very much. Thank, Thank you, Kev. Uh, Mike got magic. Uh, what's good, McQueen? Appreciate the DM earlier. All love, bro. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. Can't wait to be on the show one day. Number one podcast for a reason, guys. Thank, Thank you very you much, Mike. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, Chels, Chels, I started working out this month. I used to my what I used to use my PCOS diagnosis, diagnosis as an excuse for being overweight. Now I say, get the fuck out, fat bitch. This uh, time to work out. Already lost five pounds. Can't wait to get abs. Got my dad in my corner cheering me on. Yeah, absolutely. There's no Ooh, excuse awesome, to be fat. No. If you're fat, I'm like, happy for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Men chase what they want. They don't have any more. B, I'm chasing money. Why do I need a woman? Okay, fair enough. You don't need one. D, P, B. Uh, you guys, can you just let me get through these real quick <laughs> yeah. and then we can continue the conversation? Great show. Uh, D, P, B, 79. Great show. Thank you. Uh, ben, $20. All these masculine women just love to argue. You could tell a girl one plus one equal two. They'll say, well, I feel like one plus one is 11 because if you put them together, it makes 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Bro. That's facts. Okay. That's facts. Uh, can these simple questions please get simple answers? You can't finesse a guy with your words. Yeah, guys invented that. Oh, shit. There you go. Uh, they did, though. They did though. Yeah, see, the people are talking. Uh, that guy, Pete, you refuse to invite to gatherings. Uh, you're trying to talk to a girl who doesn't know what Move the goalpost means there is not enough ibuprofen in that world in the world to deal with this girl and her realms. Chick is in Narnia with her feelings. Can we, can we acknowledge the fact that this nigga's name is that guy Pete that you will not invite to gather? That's yes. terrible. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Jack, Jack Menace. I have a question for the ladies. What do they bring to the table that I can't pay for? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Mark Lutchman. Uh, and we already got almost ten thousand live viewers. From this point forward, guys, we're going to go 50 and up. Yep, Tonight yep. is borderline unwatchable with these women all talking over each other. Frank, where are you at? Ah, well, I'm, I'm trying to be a little patient. Yep. Uh, Zentians, $50. If marriage is a business, why should men buy ultra masculine women with 9,000 plus body count children STDs like the bull with the nose ring what? and don't interrupt the lady oh, woman? He's driven. Not given. Oh, Absolutely shit. driven. He's driven. 
Okay. And then we got uh, yo, y'all, y'all are ruthless. <laughs> y'all try so hard to not be wrong. And Jaden Smith needs to put that cup down. Love from DC. I oh, slap the shit out you on my mama. Bro. I slap the fuck out you. <laughs> no, I think he was talking. I was, he was talking about her. her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was just making sure. I thought, I thought he was talking to you, yeah. Larry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. He was talking know. to her. I thought he was talking That's to mean. you. Bro. I'm Ask the Rojas. Ask Dr. Dre if prenups matter. That's true. Ask Dr. Dre if prenups matter. Let's uh, talk about Will, it. Wild Ducati. Let's uh, talk about who he married. Um, okay, can't we can we can ha- we can talk about that. Wild Ducati, high value men are not with into women who have improper verbiage like I fuck with boss bitch, improper public language slash cussing and unclear points. I get being real. Can you explain why or how you choose to use this language? Yeah, well, people are different, bro. Leon yeah, runs. Question for the ladies: What do you think is the difference between the type of women men want? Just to sleep with versus the type we want a relationship with. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Ooh, that's and then uh, Kevin Terrell, sad. ladies, I watch this podcast for the information it provides. One of the unique things I've noticed is that they are the first to bring women on to speak. For the love of God, can y'all just chill and have a conversation? Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, we're good. All right. Cool. Okay. Um. So, um, real quick. Yeah. So, when it comes to dating, do you prefer dating apps or meeting somebody in person? And explain why. And we'll start. She went last time, right? Yeah. This, uh, she yeah. started yeah. first. I would okay. say meeting so in person, I feel like it's more authentic and it's nice to actually see a face, have a conversation because when you meet someone online and on a dating app, of course the conversation can be great when you're texting and things like that, but when you meet in person it can be kind of like awkward. So I think in person's the best. Okay. Yeah, definitely in person is good. All right. I agree in person. People can make up anything online, so mm-hmm. yeah. Cool. Yeah, in person, you can read someone and their energy a lot better than you can with just like, yeah, online. Oh, and then, uh, real quick, sorry, sorry, McQueen. Name one thing you like about dating now and one thing you hate about dating currently. Oh. That's no, the from the last time. Now and currently, the same, same thing. thing. I'm Wait not going to lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, name one thing that you dislike about dating. A positive you know, and negative and then, about dating right yeah, now. Positive dating. Modern day. Yeah, positive. Yeah. One thing I like about dating modern day is that... um. Is it as an entertainer or just in general? Uh, in general. You can do both. One thing I like about dating is that you can kind of get in perspective of what a person values through social media, mm. through this, through that, whatever the fuck. There's so many different ways that you can kind of understand a person. Okay. As opposed to like in the 90s or early 2000s, you kind of don't know unless you do talk to the person, you know? Mm. What I don't like is... Uh, the influence mm. that social media has on people. Mm. Okay, fair. That's a good point. Okay, so fire. Uh, all right. Uh, Hold on. And then uh, we're going back to online apps. versus meeting in person. In person. In person. Okay. Oh wow. In person as well. Wait. Hold on. Does Instagram count? Like social media? Does... Yes. Does counts that... online. Yeah. So I would go with both. Then. Okay. Both. Instagram. I, I, yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, online versus Instagram or. In person, what I can say if you want to meet a nigga at a library, you'll meet a nigga at a library, and that's a very <laughs> cute situation ship that I can deal with. Hey, can you just please say online or in person? <laughs> I know, right? Tomorrow, but it was a can question, I use the uh-huh. can but I use the really okay, quickly? right? But really quick, um, so that's the difference. Um, if you're online, you don't know what's going on, they're hashtagging this. Oh, I like this, da da da, in person. In person. In person? <laughs> yeah, because I'm not going to. In person. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was a quick question right there. In person. <laughs> All right. In person. In person. Uh, right. And what about you? You? Oh. In person or online? <laughs> uh, in person for sure, because it's more of a natural kind of thing. It's yeah. spontaneous. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Yeah, it seems like it's unanimously in person, except for one person that's okay with going online. All right. So, you know what? I'll spin it back. How'd you meet your last boyfriend prior to this? Online mm. or in person? Mm. In person. In person. I'm not a boyfriend, never. <laughs> I can't. Okay, the can't. last the last male that you were sexually involved with. No. <laughs> That's not an answer. In person? No. In person or online? Never. See, did you? Did, how did All right, yo. Okay. Yo, get the fuck off the show, man. This, this Thank is, this you. Is bro. Ah, I was like, yo, waiting for me show, to be man. kicked out. Nah, bro. Oh, God bless. Because I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? All right, then we'll just get up and get out. Then. Shit, mad weird. Y'all don't even pull the chair. Answer the questions, For man. a bitch. Y'all have no 
What the fuck is the chivalry? All this shit. Yo, you get treated like a lady if you act like one anyway. So I mean, you look a man, so I don't think that chivalry is there. I mean, you look like a man. Okay, I think that's rude. I feel like y'all, if y'all gonna kick her out, that's cool, kick her out. But all that other shit. Let's get out with her too. Listen, the R witch with three eyes. Because I said that you were being. We're running our joint. She's being disrespectful of platform. It's a privilege to be here, not a right. We don't got to treat you like Shout a lady. Shout out to Kodak that. Black, That's 954, Gang Gang. Yo, no, honestly, shit, I'm happy. Right, yo, 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 you got to get out now. You're this done. shit is You're done. bullshit. You're done. You're done. Fuck out. Fuck y'all doing. You're done. Kevin Samuels. Okay. <laughs> I want to talk to right. him. Cool. Kevin call Samuels should have been studying right call here. Show. You got Dead bro. eyes. Like, the fuck? No. What she look like, Kevin Samuels? <laughs> just see, that's the extra. Like, no, yeah, it's it's, it's the sorry, extra. Bro. Like, if you're going to kick her out, just kick her out. Yo, yo, but, like, the extra yo, commentary. Yo, 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 that's no, cool. no, no, no. Not you, not you, not you. All right, I enjoyed y'all. Nice meeting all y'all. Bye, Kai. We're going to connect afterwards. I really, yeah. I need your, like, don't worry. I, I got I you. I have my I'm phone. A, they took them all. They took all the phone. No, no, we're going to get you I got you. I got you. We're going to connect afterwards. I got you. Uh. I hear y'all. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, we got to show her on, man. Well, y'all kicking people out. All I said was if y'all are going to kick her Yo, out. It's gone. We, there's the no extra commentary. commentary. No more, man. That's me, though. That's me, though. Because I'm petty. Yo, that's me. Grab your phone, so not him. Out. That's me. So that's your comments. I can say whatever I want. That's cool. Oh, don't don't you want to say. Singer. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. That's that's McQueen. He went to the bathroom. This is live, bro. This is live. <laughs> Jerry Springer was 11 o'clock at night, right? <laughs> Same kind of thing. Okay. I should be wow, This is I do have to be too. Let's go. While this, the, while this intermission is going on. We, all right. Like. Wow, take the headphones off. You actually hear what's going on. I'm I'm surprised she stayed that long. Yeah. That was like. <sighs> Chris, you got your bag. How are you feeling, bro? And she was like, I was waiting, I was waiting to kick, kick, get kicked out. Then why did you come? <laughs> That's yeah. because it gives them clout. Okay. So uh, <laughs> yeah. That's why it's taking 25 minutes. <laughs> Let's go, girls. Come on. All right. There's a reason for all this, though. Like, it's crazy, right? It's because they were being very disrespectful. This is the, this is their platform, and they were being disrespectful. Yeah, it was disrespectful. They were being very disrespectful the whole time, and they weren't letting anybody talk. Dude, it was like even I said something like, "Let's move on." You said something. This is just them saying facts, and that's it. And no one wanted right. to move on. That's the thing. All right, guys. Hi, so we're full talking. video, video is going to be on our Patreon. Uh, it's going to be there in a little bit. Trey's recorded right now. Uh, so yeah, man, that, that went kind of kind of crazy. Um, obviously, you know the show's going a certain flow. You're messing up the show, and uh, Myron got to the point where it's you know what, it's time to go. So, uh, this is so going. We're waiting right now. Why are they taking so long? That's the thing. Like, like yo, uh, this is your. This, this is a. We yeah. were asked to be on this show, and you respect the show, but you can't come on the show and tell. I was somebody. about to leave just because I didn't want to hear it anymore. Yeah, no, no. Like no. I was about to leave. Like, oh, like it's one thing to be to be like you know what I'm saying. Opinionated, we get it, but like to. Stop the show. Like, why you're... are they still? They, they're. They, she came on this show the minute yeah. she came on and was saying she wanted to be cloud. Why are they still here? This is why still happening. Still right Your viewership. Now. Woo. Yes. I mean, no, it's not. It's not good See, right now. They came on to. to they came on to have a watch us have a conversation, Wait, I'm not right. fight over. Bullshit. But like. Oh, talking yeah, all this okay, spiritual okay. like matrix wow, realm woke so stuff so in my it. in my opinion so i didn't want to hear that it. So yeah because they if, don't care about this is a guy's show if you're truly awakened you're you're not gonna be triggered like that and and go back and forth with the right. back and forth right. you know right. you're just but more zen they don't want to be here i guess it comes with maturity oh God, they don't to care be about more zen shit. I heard him give a fuck about your shoe. What happened? I don't oh know what gosh. happened to her shoe. All right, you guys are taking way too long, and we are sitting here at this podcast right now. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. 
I'm sorry, That's but like, for it's the not working out. It's not working out. So get out so we can it's finish facts, talking. It's facts. Like, answer the question. I have stuff Move to do. On. I have a job in the morning. So let's go. Damn, you came. You I came, came here. I got to be at work yeah. at 7.30. Woo, you are not sleeping so, tonight. No, I'm not. I so never do when I come on this show. Oh, so yeah. everybody needs to realize that I came out here. No, you think you will be too. We all came out here. Oh, for real? Okay. Damn. Mm. Yo, let's go. Come on. We're trying to get the show going. Five, four, three, two, one, because I'm gonna get up. Like, we don't have time for this. Yo. I'm not fighting. Get okay. up. Full video on Patreon. Finally, they're gone. I'm not fighting nobody. Man, get out. Would... I'm how like I want to have a conversation. I'm tired of this. Yeah. Like, come on. Can we please have a conversation now? Yeah, because uh, I would one. really like to have a conversation. Listen, you you're fine, all right? Let, let us run the show. It's, it's not what you want so right now. Man, man. Relax. Good, good call. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. I calm the fuck down. Woo. Back to the show. All right. <laughs> all right. So, uh, that where's was McQueen? A... I tried, man. I really. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. So it's yeah, like guys. Um, Yo, props comedy. to you. Props to you for staying as long as you did. With yeah, you. I tried. Because that was I not. I was impatient from the get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, uh, actually, no, we can slide down. Yeah, one. let's move over this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can y'all just slide down one? I'll take. You got chair. This right here. I don't know. Should we? Should we? Actually, because there's a spare chair right here. Yeah, there's a chair. Actually, you know what? Here. Just push it back on. Just take it. Yeah, yeah right here. Right. So guys, we are back, yeah, man. Right um, no, don't worry. You can just sit down. Yeah, sit down. Two friend castles in one. I there forgot you go. the question. Huh? What was the question? Oh, the question was, do you, do you prefer um, dating apps or <laughs> meeting a person? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. But I, think, I think they were answered it, though. Didn't we answer Yeah, that? I thought we Did answered we that. Down? And, then, and then it was going back saying, um, how'd you meet your last, your last oh, partner? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, how'd you meet your last partner? Mm -hmm. Um. Again. Wow. Yeah. Do I want what? Yeah, I don't know what right. they're on, bro. Okay, patreon.com slash fresh fit guys. So you guys can see two uh two chicks uh, get kicked out. Like, man, oh, wow. I, I was trying, bro. I was trying to be patient, but yeah, no, I saw Yo, man. That's, Yo, Myron has evolved, man. Super Myron, listen to me, bro. Super Saiyan 4. One thing that people don't see, one side that people don't see about you, bro, is how patient you are, mm. man. Try, bro. Fact. They don't see that. Yeah. You're try, actually man. more patient than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I was like, you know what, man? You know, let, uh, we'll let her say her stuff, whatever. But then once you, like, stop asking, answering questions, so I'm like, all right, this girl just here to, like, patrol, like, get out, bro. You ain't contributing. And and you're uh, making it worse for all the other girls. Yep. So, so um, real quick, super chats. Sorry, ladies, you have to deal with that BS, but you know yeah. it is what it is. Uh, Real Ninja Association, SJW black chicks with multiple nose rings be the weirdest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever, man. I try to give it a chance. Uh, Mr. Burns ninety six. It's always the youngest girls who are so arrogant yet haven't lived enough life to have uh, an informed opinion, especially especially against Myron's facts. My mature female friends would laugh these young ones out the room, including Cass. Yeah, we had Whoopi Goldberg and fucking, I don't know, what the, uh, Dennis Rodman in the house, like, <laughs> bruh. No, Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Yo. Dennis Rodman. Dennis bro. Rodman is an accurate representation. Yeah. <laughs> Someone that shows our uh, Rondo. Oh, <laughs> Rondo. Wait, and she kept saying, like, oh, you guys talking crazy. It was like, Chris, like, no, it was me talking. Fuck out of here. Yeah, it was me. Uh, oh, when Brick Castle comes back, uh, comes block the restrooms, yeah. Yeah, dude, she tried going to the bathroom. Like, hey, oh, that, that nigga Chris said Rondo. <laughs> she was Rondo. The yeah. other one, the other one was, like, our Montrezl. Uh, you. <laughs> Welcome to the Fresh and Fit fucking podcast, guys. There you go. Uh, Live, where baby. we take out annoying ass bitches. All right, uh, <laughs> we got GMM and Trouble Times. Ask yourself, what would Patrice O'Neill do if he was still alive? What question would Fresh Fit and McQueen do? Yeah, when in doubt, kick out annoying chicks, aka Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg and her team. Uh, and then uh, showing the world why black women are the least desired demographic Come of women. On, Unreal. Oh, shit. Say that, man. Best of chicks. Just retarded. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's a it's you, also you, a hey, statistical I'm, fact. You're a fucking weirdo. Listen yeah. to me. I'm, I'm just gonna say that, man. You're fucking weird. But it's a statistical I, fact. It, it, I don't it, it, it is fuck true. About, I it don't give true. a fuck about statistics. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Let's let's continue on. Okay, what's sad? It's always the masculine black women. SMH. Okay, <laughs> I knew the chat was gonna say something <laughs> about race. Ignorant. I knew I knew they were gonna say something about race. Okay, okay. Let's continue on. Um, how'd you find your last boyfriend? Was it online or uh in person? In person. 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 Um, online. Online. Okay. Instagram. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, okay. Shout out Instagram. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we got a whole course on Instagram. How to use it properly. How to get girls all yes. stuff. So. Mine was online too. Online. Okay. Mm -hmm. How'd you find your last person? How did I find my last person? Yeah, your last partner. <laughs> online or, or in person? person. Um, she found me through uh, online. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. But Sniper. Which, which apps? Like your Amanda, which Instagram. Instagram and you? Was it IG? That she found you? McQueen? He doesn't have oh. his headphones on. Oh, I'm oh, so yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. Did she find you on Instagram? I'm sorry. Where did she find what you? What was the question Where again? did she find you? The girl. On Instagram. Okay. Instagram. Mm. Yeah. No, YouTube. She found me on YouTube. On but YouTube. She, had, she had contacted me through Instagram. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I respect wow. that she shoot her shot with you. Yeah, I respect it too. Yeah. That's, That's why good. he gave it her shot. <laughs> yeah, literally. Because it's That's right. the first time it ever happened to me. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. In person. In person. In person. Cool. All right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, we got a video to react to real quick. That's one by Joe Rogan and our boy. Um, yes. I love Will. Joe. Let's Will, go, Joe. Will Harris. Um, so Chris, could you bring that, that one up real quick? Cool. Uh, yeah. So Will Harris has a topic uh, regarding problems with online dating with Joe Rogan. Talk about it real quick. And uh, play it real quick. Cool. <laughs> The Joe Rogan experience. The course is getting bad with that weed money. The phrase, weed money phrase, and now phrase, phrase. mushroom money because now phrase. those are decriminalized mushrooms. Prostitution next. Woo! Probably. Cheaper than dating these days. You excited? Hey man, <laughs> LA boy is tough. I don't. I don't. I probably just spend a lot of money on first dates. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's, sure. It's you want to impress? Materialistic city. Because it sucks to be a man in dating. Because Does you got to impress. Well, if I you remember, can impress, it doesn't. Listen, suck. when. Before I started making money and having money, dating was fun because you was broke and you can do smoothie dates and Starbucks dates. And then, you know, you're going to spend five, six bucks to have well, a conversation. Now? I'm 37. Yeah, it's, you're too close to 40. From LA, you know I know you can't do that no more. Yeah, you got you got to take chicks to, to Palm Springs for the weekend. So this is uh, actually Mr. Organic's boy, Will Harris. He does, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, photography, videography, a lot of stuff. And he is from LA. I get so shout out to him. I, th I think he's from LA. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Cool. Our play. And things like that. Uh, well, they want a nice. I like meal. that stuff now, though. Sure. Well, I, they, yeah, they I like want this. A guy. Uh, we didn't pay our internet bills. Bear, bear with us, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Did someone say DMT? I saw that too. That's the question. Did someone say DMT? Yeah. That's Joe. Actually, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Haley, we, actually. we had a whole like uh, late night podcast with some girls that, that did DMT. It's crazy. Oh, DMT. It's on Patreon. Yeah. For so long, I didn't. And right. now I do. Now I want to have some fun. Of course. Yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> forget yeah. that. I ain't trying to complain no more. But as far as like cities of the vibe, I love the vibe of San Diego and I love the vibe of Denver. I love those cities. Yeah. I'm, I'm leaning towards back to San Diego yeah. because it's still close to like I just drove to Irvine the other day. I was like, that was a simple drive. Yeah. As like, long as you do it early. Yeah. You try to do that shit at four o'clock in the afternoon. You want to shoot. Over. Yeah. You will want to. Over, fool. <laughs> That's buffering. Yeah. Uh, here, just click, fast forward a little bit, Chris. There's what? Irvine. Oh, here we go. An improv I work out all the time. Dude, you might have to delete have the quality, Chris. I have a Chris. show, I leave here at fucking noon. And what? I'm not playing games. I leave here at noon. I get there early. I check in. I have dinner. I don't fuck around with that 4 p.m. traffic. It's insane. It's nuts. It took me six hours to get down there once. Damn. When you went to Shop Show when he had his special, mm -hmm. how, how no. early did you? Noon. Noon? Noon. Damn. Got a hotel just to put my shit in. Checked in. Checked out. I didn't even stay there. My daughter had a, an event the next day that I had to go to for school. So, so I was drove there. back I up? said, yeah, I drove that back that night. Damn. After the show. After the second show. That's an easy That's an easy drive, though. I remember it's when not I, bad. Yeah, especially late late at night. Yeah, you get a couple I, Red Bulls in you, you're fine. Yeah, I got to L.A. quick once uh, from when I lived in San Diego. I used my boy's truck. I met this girl online in the middle of the night and just drove met a girl online in the middle, in the middle of the night. <laughs> Listen, this online shit. I know if I ever was going to end up on a Joe Rogan podcast, I Are thought it was going to be for me writing a book about, about online, online dating. Really? Confessions of an online dater. I swear. I, Why don't you do that? Mike, well, you don't need a book, but just do a video about it. Do documentaries about how crazy it is. I used to film girls and interview them and everything. You about should. dating, like what sucks about dating and well, things like that. Online dating is only existed for like, like at its m m rawest form, twenty years, right? Rawest yeah. form was yeah. twenty years ago. That was like AOL. That was you. You was a weirdo then. <laughs> oh wow! Now everybody, listen. If you if you do Tinder or Bumble in LA, you seeing celebrities and everything on it. I mean, really? yes, chicks, like all these successful chicks on searching for love. Wow. They're not on Tinder. They're on Raya. Well, that's scary? a whole other. That's because really, you don't know who right you really there. heard of that one. Yeah, there's uh, there, it's it's really cool. It's called Raya. It's it's what the celebs use in in LA to to like date. Mm -hmm. It's like their version of Tinder. You gotta 
you, you for the guys i know it's very hard to get on for the girls as long as you're hot like you'll get on mm-hmm. but for the guys like you got to be like a somebody to get on there you got to get like it's a panel of approval or something like that mm-hmm. So uh, don't forget about SA. Yeah, then there's SA as well. Yeah, sugar sites. Yeah, but but Raya is definitely like the 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 celeb one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, really meeting like for a woman. Imagine being a woman oh, and you, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I was. It was suck to be a woman. That's trying gotta to be date. weird. A successful celebrity woman trying to meet dudes. You want to hear this story? And this is crazy. So I met this famous online female trainer, beautiful here in LA. She's very popular. I ain't gonna say her name. I, I, I met her on Match.com. And I got her Instagram and she, we, you know, we exchanged our Instagrams or whatever. So I re I looked at her, looked at her, uh, her Instagram and she was doing like, you know, content, but on her phone, Mm -hmm. like in her living room, doing like squat jumps and things like that. And I reached out to her. Like we set up a date. We're going to go hiking, run you and do Mm -hmm. everything. And I was like, listen, I, I I looked at your, 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 your Instagram page and your content. I would love to be able to help you out and give you better content. She lost it. I don't need your help. I don't need your help. You look like you need to help yourself. Like, I'm like, I'm just telling you that I could help. I'm like, why? Like, I am a filmmaker. I could help you do some content. Like, she took it the wrong way. Wrong way. Like, I'm probably trying to take advantage of her millions yeah. of followers and things like yeah, that. I was just probably. like, I was like, man, I'm going to be single forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I think sometimes that's also there's a it's very limited communicating with people on in a text. Yep. It's and they take limited. it the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta kind of meet people. Like if you but I bet if you met her and you said, Hey, you know, you're you are you're beautiful, you got a great body, these videos are great and everything, but I think I could make them even better. Oh, with, she still would have taken it the wrong way. Oh, she was like in her forty, forties. Uh, Probably some people get alpha, set in their she ways. was an alpha female. You know those alpha females that you can't. Some guys have been fucked over so many times. They think everyone's gonna fuck them over. It's like a dog that's been beaten. Yeah. You ever pick up a dog from the pound? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I've yeah, had dogs they, from yeah, the pound. Yeah. You're like, hey, I love dogs. Come on, I'm not gonna beat you. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> all right, cool. So, uh, ladies, what's your what's your take on that? We'll start. Uh, you started last time, so we'll start yeah. over here. So, so uh, what's what's your take on that? He threw a lot out. He there. said a lot, but know, like what. I, so, so I forget the narrative. The foundation <laughs> is basically is when it comes to online dating and in person, right? Uh, he's saying that online dating is wonderful because you have so many options and it's, you know, the new world. But at the same time, there's some, uh, I want to say, issues with online dating. What are your thoughts on online dating totally? Mm. I mean, like we were saying before, I mean, anyone can pretend what who they are, you know? So you don't really actually know a person until you actually get to know who they are in person mm. because people can impersonate themselves on the screen. Um, but what he was saying, how this girl was offended by, you know, what he was trying to offer to her, mm. that that's a whole nother um, flip of the coin mm-hmm. in the aspect. She was offended by some, something that he was being real with himself and she got offended by it. So I think that it really just comes down to what where you're at mentally, honestly. One last question. If you were to choose a guy, right, from an online site, what would you have to have for you to pick him? Mm, okay. I have to, like, I can read people usually with what they what they post. So I can tell people are trying, trying too hard. Mm-hmm. Um, so authenticity. I can tell if someone's being authentic based on what they project themselves and what they write about themselves and that's simply it you know based on their pictures the angles the the wording and everything okay yeah cool i like authenticity all right awesome yeah oh me um okay so what i got out of that was um he had tried to offer her help and i mean if someone's that old they're stuck in their ways and i mean it's, it's telling someone Hey, I want to help out via text message. Like, I want to help you out with your um, your videos, make them better. It can be taken as your videos right now. They look like like trash. shit, mm-hmm. like trash. And that's how it could have been misconstrued. But at the same time, if you say, I'm a videographer, I could make this better. Like, if you know the guy's a videographer, you should understand. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, 
if you're trying to date somebody, don't offer your services up to that person. I that's what I would say. Is mm. if you're gonna be trying to date somebody, do not say like I will be a photographer for you because then that takes dating out. Facts. You you're mm -hmm. putting business yeah. in. You, you can't do that. You're trying to mingle the business. You're trying and to mingle the business and shit. And you can't do put the two together because it ruins the business. I agree. Mm -hmm. And then another question. If you're gonna pick somebody from online, right? We'll make you pick that person. Um like pick as in like pick just to go out with to go out with yeah um like i would just want it to be like a fun experience like just like okay what, what do you want to do when we go out it would have to be something fun like uh, i like to go do crazy stuff. so they'd have to offer you hey we're going to go jet skiing or yeah even like if like, like i want to just not not jet skiing but mm. just a different <laughs> a different adventure like okay just an adventurous experience so i'm gonna take it for some tea and coffee let's go cool. <laughs> i drink tea all the time so that's not adventurous <laughs> but how would they know them? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I really agree with what he said at the end about um the alpha female and how sometimes when you're an alpha female and you've been through so much and then somebody tries to come and like it's like a beaten dog, you know? Like that, I can is that you? Yeah, like I can understand it. Like I'm definitely an alpha female, so I can understand it, and that's oh, why shit. we just be like no, you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just like we don't want your help and we good, we're gonna deal with it. But I feel like in his approach, I agree with what she said that if you wanna do uh, like do something for someone, offer your services, just say that up front and don't try to like mix the two. Mm -hmm. You know? Exactly. Like, I, I yeah. would argue uh that the uh, an alpha female doesn't exist. I would just or I would I would and, and obviously you can you, you feel free to challenge me on this. I I would argue that you're just a masculine woman if you're alpha. No, I just why? Why do you feel like that? Because would you are you gonna be in charge of the relationship? Can an alpha female also be with an alpha male? Is that like would you ever date a man that actually? Wait, can I ask you something? Would that ever work? Well, time, time. Would that ever work? Do you feel like Beyonce and Jay Z are both alphas? Oh, God. Nope. No. No. Not at no, all. No, we had this conversation. <laughs> not at all. Let me ask you this. Not ask you. So, I'll ooh. tell you this. What I do think with Beyonce and Jay Z thing is, I do think that they are alphas in their own right. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to a relationship, Beyonce knows Jay Z is that nigga, and yeah. she also knows that she is that woman. But also have their own personal roles <laughs> as a woman and as a as a man. Do you understand? Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Did you, you had you had something yeah. on Taylor? You have something you want to say? I forgot at this. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, I was just. Do you agree with that or not? Yeah, I do. Because obviously, like with J and B, like he obviously gives her advice and she goes to him for confirmation of certain moves she's probably gonna make, right? So I guess they're alpha as one. Like they'd be a power couple because they're both. They both. Would like, you want to be both... more alpha than the oh, male? Like, no, I wouldn't want to be more alpha, but I just feel like March. I don't know. Like I just. Would like... you want to be more alpha than the male? No, nah, I'd want my male to be definitely like more Ex than me. exactly. Okay, good. Okay, so you want to add? Yeah. Okay, sure. Go ahead. They had this. They asked this conversation the last time I was here, and they put it in perspective for a female. Um, if a guy came up to you, because this is exactly what he said last time, if a guy came up to you and was like, "Hey, oh my God, you're so cute! Like, no. I would love to go out to, to, to like lunch with you, and like, you know, can I have your phone number? Like, would you be receptive to a guy like that?" Mm -mm. No, it's okay. a little too feminine. Okay. Unless he wants to be my so friend. So why, 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 why the double stand? So yeah. when a guy doesn't want a girl that acts like, oh, bro, oh, dude, oh, what's mm. up? Like, and mm. had curses a lot. That that was a specifically what they need. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's just uh, 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 like, listen to me, this. Billy. I will slap the shit out you for real. Billy Murray. Really? You will never say that shit to my face. I promise you. You will never in my life say that to my face. I will slap the fuck out you. Who's real? Billy? Billy? Oh, I just want okay. to let you know. Um, so anyway, no, going back to what I was saying. Um, the, the thing is, is that um, the biggest thing is that <clears throat> with women, it's just that we live in a society now where we don't really tell women the truth that masculine women aren't that attractive, like alpha females or as they would say it. Really what it is, it's just a woman that tends to be less agreeable, a little bit more dominant, more assertive. And that's fine. You know, if you want to be a career woman and make money, that's cool. Like, I'm not going to mm -hmm. knock you. But no one tells you guys that that's a double edged sword, mm -hmm. uh, because what happens is when you have these personalities, you're going to be repulsive to a lot mm -hmm. of the same alpha men that you want because we're opposites. Right. Mm -hmm. Like you as a dominant woman, the last thing you want is a feminine man. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as a dominant man, the last thing you want is a dominant woman because you're going to be like, what the hell? Like mm -hmm. this girl's going to chat. I have to I have to already go out into the world and fight 
Why do I have to come home and fight my wife or my girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. You know, and I know women say I could turn it off and turn it on, right? No, no. But I was gonna say something about that. Yeah, like we will be submissive yeah. to the right alpha male. Like I feel like that. Way. It's conditional. Alpha. Then. It's yes. conditional. Then. Yeah, I guess so. I okay. feel like I'll be submissive to the right alpha male. You but know. Here's my counter to that. If I if I'm a man that has options and I'm an alpha male, I make a certain amount of money, whatever it is. Mm. Why am I gonna have to sit here and damn near be on the verge of smacking you to get you to comply? <laughs> I have to assert my masculinity this high, yeah. right to the point of almost domestic abuse to get you to get in line. Like this chick right here, right? I could already tell these two uh, women that we kicked out earlier. Hyper masculine. They need a guy to really put them in their place. But that's damn near smacking these chicks. Why do I have to put myself almost in prison to get mm. you in line when you should be just naturally feminine? And it shouldn't be difficult. But it's only in the West, in the United States in general, where feminism is strong, where we let women, we basically lie to women and tell them, listen, you could be as masculine as you want. You could be as obnoxious as you want. And a man should accept you for how you come. And I say, no, that's a, that's one of the biggest lies we tell women. They're just not going to talk to you. <laughs> They're just going to have sex with you casually and never take you seriously. And who loses? Well, you thought the guy liked you. He told you these sweet nothings like you're 17 years old. I love your mind. But reality, he just wanted to smash. And then he leaves. So um, you had a point? Sorry, I was going to say please. I use that as a tactic to repel the men that I'm not interested in that keep trying and they're provocative. Oh, I, wow. I get all masculine on them. Okay. And it works. Say? It works. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're submissive to the right guy. Oh, yeah. So oh, smart. now, okay. You said it's smart. I'm going to respectfully disagree. I think it's actually very, uh, it's very dumb. And, I, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'm not going to just make a claim and not like substantiate okay, what yeah. I'm trying to say. The reason why is because let's, let's flip the roles real quick. Let's go, let's go into a dream world, right? <laughs> <laughs> let's say going back on Skylar's uh, analogy, I come up to you and I'm like, your your type, right? I look the way you like, whatever. I know some of you guys might be triggered by me at this point. Like, oh my God, I love your shoes, whatever. And you're like, oh, what a disappointment. This guy acts like a girl. But let's add a caveat. <laughs> oh my God, girl, don't worry. I don't act like this all the time. I'm just like masculine when I meet the right girl that's like super feminine. Would you look at me? You'd look at me like I'm crazy, right? Yep. But it's mm. so basically what I'm saying is that I'm conditionally masculine when the woman is feminine. That's an asinine concept when you put it that way, right? But why are we so okay with letting mm. women be conditionally feminine? I mean, I think it's when I'm provoked. I just like switch no, it no, on. No, no, I, I understand that. I understand that. But like, them, what's up? The, but the like, point I'm, I'm trying to make honest. is that, like she mentioned it earlier, I need to be around the right guy. I need to be. Mm. I'm conditionally submissive to the right guy, and my argument is. Well, the right guy isn't necessarily going to sit there and want to rise his masculinity up to a certain level to com to combat yours when you should just naturally be feminine. And that concept that women use, I'm conditionally submissive, is literally the equivalent to me saying, I wear a dress and heels, but when I meet the right girl, I wear Tim's and jeans. But also, don't take the word submissive as like like a bad thing. Thing yes. Either yes. It's submissive mm -hmm. isn't doesn't necessarily mean like I'm gonna get down on my knees and do everything that you're gonna say. Yeah. It just means that I am going to be agreeable and yeah and not argue and not I, nag and be annoying. Yeah, it's not I, submissive like oh I'm gonna do everything you want and say and like you know like thinking like of the Handmaid's Tale type thing where we do everything for the man. No, it's not like that. So mm -hmm. submissive just means that you're agreeable. It, it you we would be agreeable with somebody. Uh, you yeah, the problem is, what, is that right like now? it's it's kind of like okay imagine this right. You meet a guy on a dating app or in person, right? Mm -hmm. Off rip, you know offhand if he's going to be a guy for you or not. Right. You can tell by his energy. Mm -hmm. did, did he plan the date? Are we going here, here, here? Mm -hmm. At yeah, that yeah. point, okay, he's masculine. He's telling me what to do. He has a plan for, for our date. Right. At that point, it's kind of like, okay, cool. You know what? This guy's assertive. He knows what he wants. That's important. You could trust him. Now, yeah. if you're going to say, oh, you know what? I'm going to still be masculine because I don't know who, how he is yet. Come on, you know from the very no, no, beginning. No, 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 I don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying when I'm provoked. And I know for a oh, fact, like, when I've met someone that I was very attracted to, that I was, like, engaged with, at the very beginning, I was the most coy and shy and feminine person that my friends that were nearby were like, I've never seen you that way. So it's, like, with the right person. No, of course, of course. I I'm just challenging that I got to find the right person narrative because I'm yeah. saying that's How the equivalent to me right wearing person? dress and heels and saying... I'm masculine for the right woman. Oh, um, I'll protect you in yeah. times of danger if you're the right woman. You know what I'm saying? You're, I mean, you're my girl. Like, it's just like a crazy concept that, like, I, I think modern day women it's think is okay. Yeah. But, like, when I say, okay, well, you know what? Since you want to be conditional with your femininity, I'm going to be conditional with my masculinity. Mm -hmm. But when I put it on the male side, it sounds asinine, right? But it's just that we live in a world now where we allow women to, like, kind of live mm -hmm. in a clown world and decide when they want to be feminine, decide when they want to be yeah. uh, women, decide when they want to be traditional and not be traditional. Mm -hmm. Most women, one, a traditional man, a man that makes more money than them, taller than them, attractive, confident, assertive, while simultaneously 
not being feminine women. And sorry, not being traditional women. Yeah. They want to be able to have the night girls nights out. They want to be able to be on Instagram showing their ass. They want to be able to do all these things that modern day women do. Right. My roles are negotiable, whereas your roles are static. Someone breaks into the house. I need you to be a fucking man to protect me. But by the way, I'm not going to suck your dick. And that's that. And a lot of guys are waking up and realizing, like, this is a bad deal. Like, I'm not I have to get held to these standards. But she could change and pick and choose when she wants to act the, the right way. So yeah, we're just yeah. giving you guys the male perspective. But I yeah. get what you're saying. That's a defense mechanism because, yes, a lot of weirdos come up to it. Yeah, hey, yeah. Nice tits. So you got to, like, do yeah. what you got to do, right? Yeah. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm saying, like, when a girl meets a guy, even that she likes, she thinks having that masculine energy is going to make her more attractive. And I, and I would oh. argue that it actually makes you look less attractive. It's just it's, that. That's the illusion. It's a turn off. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's turn just off. that men will never tell women that. Yeah. Because if a man tells you, hey, man, I don't really like masculine women or, hey. You're kind of bossy or hey, you you're kind of abrasive. That. You'll never hear it, right? No. Yeah. Well, two reasons. Number one, men want to get laid, so they don't yeah. want to go against the grain. Yeah. And then number two, most importantly, they don't want to hear this shit. How dare you? And get canceled or get sent to HR, whatever, because anything mm -hmm. that paints a negative light on uh on feminism or or, or negative things about women is considered misogynistic. misogynistic. Yeah. yeah. But it's not, that. yeah. You, you know, know I, men can't speak their minds. Yeah, I really respect you guys for that because I feel like you Thanks. kind of have to walk on eggshells in that um, arena of feminine and masculine, where like I'm, I'm a woman and I have, I, I was raised by a man, so I am naturally kind of a little bit more masculine, and I have observed that within myself. You're raised by your father? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I've observed that within myself my whole life, and I found that I have demasculated man. I'm putting myself on blast right now. I've demasculated men emasculated. that I have dated. Emasculated. Emasculated, whatever. That's the proper term. Yeah. That I've dated. And I realized looking back at that, that, that that's what I was doing. Because, you know, that, that's my Because you were, let me guess, bullshit. you were nagging them because they weren't yeah. uh, ambitious <laughs> enough. Um, they, they weren't as strong as me. Okay. And, and now were you today, earning more money than them? Um, No, it wasn't even about money. Okay. Go ahead. It was more so about just strength in general, emotional and and like oh so they were strength. they were being more emotional than you were a little bit i i'm i'm very emotionally strong so i i kind of have to take my you don't got to pull no punches he was being a bitch okay no. we got but... it <laughs> okay. you can say it it's but we're not going to like sit here and clown you cuz here's the thing we actually on this podcast we say too many men are far too emotional. Yeah. yeah. Like we tell guys, you need to start like well, being a little bit more stoic. Be a fucking yeah, man. I, I yeah. think there's a really good balance that needs to be like respected and observed within the feminine and masculine. We each and every individual has both of them, those sides within themselves. So for a woman or a man to see the masculine or feminine within themselves is like true awareness mm. because we have we each have that within ourselves. Yeah. And we Myron's like, what? <laughs> this is like spiritual, you know. I get I get where she's going. I, I get where she's going. The, it comes I mean. with the awareness to know like if I'm being a little bit too masculine, I'll realize like, okay, I'm I'm not trying to emasculate my man. Like I'm gonna let him be a man. But if, if you're nagging too much, that's that's not a good relationship. And, you gotta go. And yeah, well, <laughs> like, that's that's it's kind of like a feminine trait, also too. Like no, it shouldn't be. No, though. I don't like that. It shouldn't be. You Help. shouldn't be nagging for well, anything to be yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. strike a balance. I mean, that's just yeah. nagging in in and of itself is not. A like good if you're quality providing what what your relationship all. with the person wants from you, you shouldn't be they to to nag them like they should they they be doing it. Because okay. you're you're getting they're getting what they want. So mm -hmm. you're getting I would argue um that nagging a lot of the times, guys. If your girl's nagging you, it means she's losing respect for you. That's yeah. that's a warning mm -hmm. sign that you're fucking and up you're in some degree. Lose them yeah. yeah, she's yeah. pissed at you. So she's not getting what she needs. Yeah. So and fucking talk to her about it. And make Myron, her fucking open when you, up. When you say that, do you feel like uh in certain situations it's the man's fault or? So that's a good point. I, I would I would so this is my view on it. If your girl is nagging you. You know what? I'm just going to say it. If your girl's disrespecting you, nagging you, or treating you poorly, it's your fucking fault. And yep. I'll tell you why is the man. Mm, yep. The reason why is because a woman is a direct mere reflection of, of your, your inadequacies, of your, of your inadequacies. So Facts. if I'm a bum, not ambitious, etc., that's going to be personified in the way my woman re reacts and mm -hmm. deals with me because I am inept in some degree. And now she has to fill that void, which is typically mm. a masculine void. You know, let's say I don't make money. Right. Mm -hmm. And she has to work. And now she has to get into her masculine to help me fill that void. Well, now she's in an uncomfortable position because yeah. she has to yeah. now take on masculine energy. I to fill agree. my inadequacy. Mm -hmm. So then what's going to happen? I'm going to be at Target. She'll look at me. She's going to do this. I told you not to get the fucking chips. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and when I you see that, agree. Yeah, yeah. And when you see a woman disrespecting a man openly like that, overtly like that, 
that just lets you know that's probably been a process in the making mm -hmm. for literally months, if not years, that she's already lost respect for this man mm -hmm. and she no longer takes him seriously. So yeah. I yeah. always say if a girl's disrespecting you, it's your fault as the man because you're the fucking leader. You didn't realize. You should know. But see, the she problem is know. guys will date girls and start courting them like they should. Yeah. You know what? I'm lazy. You yeah. got a girl already. I don't need to put in the work. The reality is she's going to lose respect for you at some point. At yep. that point, it's like she's going to nag you, mm. maybe be annoying, but she's about to be turned off by you emotionally. And at that point, she's gone. If you're yeah. a strong, successful, yeah. uh, you know, confident man, she's going to have the death, of, the fear of God in her to talk to you a certain way. Like if she, mm. if she's not going to want to disrespect you. She's not going to want to rock the boat because she knows this guy's on his shit. Mm -hmm. If I fuck up, another girl will probably replace me in two seconds. So I'm going to act correct. But when a woman starts overtly disrespecting you, God forbid, hitting you, whatever it is, she don't care. She don't care anymore. She's only tolerating you at this point because you might fill some other void for her. But she's looking at other guys. So if a woman disrespects you, it's the man's fault, bro. Like real talk. you She should know how to. You're the leader. So if she uh, comes out of pocket, clearly you are an inadequate leader and you need to. She's going to she's going to leave you at some point. Mm -hmm. So, so real quick. And then, right. um, uh, cool. And we got 11,000 live viewers, guys. Please like, like the video. video. And uh, thank you to the ladies on the panel. The, con Thanks. the conversation automatically went up in quality as soon as we kicked out those two chicks. So, ladies, think, um, of, a, think of a question for the guys on the oh, panel. Oh, yeah. You guys get to grill us uh, now. Just one question, and then we'll go around and end the show after that. Okay. Uh, Mark Lutchman. McQueen, my wife and I are black, but it is 100% true that it is a lot of black women that act this way. Don't be emotional. Just accept reality. Isn't that what this show is about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark, we, we understand, man. Like, yes, there was a study that came out. What he's referring to is there was a study that came out, I think, uh, either OkCupid or Tinder. Yeah. And what they did was they surveyed the least desirable race for both men and women. What they found was African-American women, the least desired race on online dating, and then uh, vice versa on the male side. Can uh, I give my personal answer to that? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Asian men and uh, Asian and Indian men Indian were the men. least desirable for men. men. So that's what he's saying. But go, go ahead, McQueen. I completely hear you out 100%, yeah. by the way. My personal thing to answer your question, yay, Cole. Um, I just want to know: Can the ladies tell me why I should marry any of them? To question it. Is that the question? Where no, the no, fuck it, was the? It, it was one next to it. It was. Oh, uh, it's this one right here. Martin yeah. McQueen. My wife and I are black, but it is 100 percent true that it that it is a lot of black women that act this way. Don't be emotional. Just accept reality. You can't just tell me to say don't be emotional and then tell me at the same time mm. accept reality. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Because that's your reality, brother. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own reality. Emotions and reality are separate. Completely separate. Yeah. And also, every single person in this room and every single person in this re in this world has their own perception of reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you it's get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Exactly. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Everyone is living a certain reality. No one, mm -hmm. you cannot sit there and try to tell someone that they're living the same life as you because mm -hmm. that's just not fair. Mm -hmm. So, if you and your wife are black, then why are the f first of all, why the fuck are you even asking me this question? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say? That's number one. Okay. Does your wife know about that? That's what I want to know. You know, if your wife is black and she hears you asking this question, is is that even something that your wife would be okay with? I'm gonna put you on blast just off oh, of that. Shit. Okay. okay. Uh yeah, Cole. I just want to know: can the ladies tell me why I should marry any of them to fresh or fit? I love seeing you guys grow. Question made six uh figures two years straight. Why marry now? Stayed up, stay up, mega two cups, and I feel like my man Chris need a shout out. Bro, remember, you don't got to ask the woman anything. You have yeah. to have certain requirements, and then she's got to fill those requirements Facts. of your life. You're the yeah. leader, bro. Facts. The yeah, woman's got to sure. acquiesce to your reality, not the other way around, bro. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're not going to ask, oh, so what do you, what, you know, nah, man. Um, cat daddy. Okay, and then uh, the cat daddy. Uh, as a black man with a black daughter, I hate it when black women get kicked off the pod. We need in, uh, the info the most. We're last in marriage and highest and most negative stat listen to opinions. That's very true. As a race, we're opening the fridge and wondering why we're cold we got to do better okay oh. appreciate it um okay so we'll turn it over to the ladies uh to uh to ask a question or question comments or, comment. or anything on anything that was discussed uh we'll turn it to uh well, as you went first last time so go ahead. um i don't have anything that's fine. honestly okay that's fine. yeah right. uh let's ask something about how and if you don't have something asking... in mind that's fine yeah you could ask us anything us mcqueen uh, yeah. anything get a real male opinion on anything, or what you did? Had, why you had did they go earlier? Why did they cheat on you? Yeah, or any a disagreement on something earlier? You know, it's cool. Whatever. How you guys feel about these apps like Bumble, Tinder, etc.? Um, something question. like that. It's a good question. Can you answer first, or you want me to go? How do I feel about it? Yeah. How like how efficient it is, or like what... how efficient? You know, in general, I, what you gain I, out of it? Do you even I, use I mean, it? You know. 
Um, I've never used it in my own personal thing, but I, I mean, I don't knock anybody that does it. You know what I'm saying? There might just be people that doesn't want to go out into the world and fuck up people. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, and I'm not a, uh, how do I say it? I've definitely met people online. So I don't think it matters how you do it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Whether it's the Bumble, Instagram, whatever, fuck, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It doesn't matter, but um, it just depends. You have to be able to read people's energy. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I would just say um, regarding dating apps itself, um, you know, it's kind of a shallow way to meet people because let's be honest here. They only want one thing for the most part and vice mm-hmm. versa. Guys want one thing, too, which which is fine, you know, but at the same time, it works for people that are single doing, doing their thing. Yeah. Um, and personally, man, like I think Instagram is the dating, biggest de- dating app in the world. Mm-hmm. So I like, I like Instagram. It's a free one. That's why I said I free. think I don't think it's Instagram free. is really any different. Yeah, you Instagram, know Instagram is fire, it's, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much. All right, so I took some notes down. I want to give you a thoughtful response. <laughs> um, so on the plus side, um, so I'll go. I'll go with the plus and negatives for both men and women. So on the plus side for both genders, it's uh, you get to meet people you otherwise would have never been able to meet, right? So you're able to, you know, pe- meet someone that you probably would have never crossed paths with at a bar or a bookstore or whatever you frequent, right? Right. So that's a uh, that's a plus, right? For for men and women. The negatives, though, however, is um, it kind of uh, how do I say this? It makes the human interaction stale, kind of. It makes it not real, n- inorganic, because you're yeah. basically, uh, it, it's not a human being anymore. It's a pic, it's a it's face a on the phone and a yeah. name. Yeah. And then on top of that, it's it's also more uh, Robotic. surface value because it's it's all looks, right? Mm-hmm. Now, it's created pluses and negatives for men. So with women, it's the gain you guys pluses because what's happened now is that women are able to exercise their options beyond an even further level and meet men that they would have never ever met before. Mm-hmm. And what's happened is it's allowed women to get leave their immediate geographic area and interact with higher status men that mm-hmm. might be states away, countries away, whatever it is. You know, a, a lot of girls fly out to guys nowadays, right? Because of the internet mm-hmm. and the yeah. globalized world that we live in. Mm-hmm. On the negative, right? What's happened though is women have an abundance of options now. So it's almost overwhelming for you guys to pick one, right? Yeah. It's, and you, you know, it's the, it's the choice paradox, right? They always like in sales, they mm-hmm. tell you, Hey, you always want to have like two to three flavors. That way you can make a sale. But if you have 50 flavors, it's far less mm-hmm. likely for you to make the sale yeah. because the customers overwhelm with their options. Mm-hmm. That's what women deal with is a choice pot paradox. You guys have too many yeah. options on the flip side for men. What's happened is since women have more options now, women, we know since the beginning of time date up in hierarchies, typically rarely do they date across. They typically date up. So if a woman has options in LA, Miami, whatever, why is she going to deal with the guys in her bum, bumfuck town in Wichita, Kansas, where she can go and deal with higher status men? Mm-hmm. So what happened has happened is a lot of younger men have been like ostracized from dating in general and like kind of left out of uh, the dating market. And a lot we have more virgins now that are men versus girls. And there's and what men are reporting the lowest levels of uh, having sex than ever before as well. When we have some studies to show that as well. Oh. So online dating has helped women meet higher status men, but it's also hurt them with meeting guys that are a little bit quality. more serious and higher quality, because better potential candidates for relationship. You're just basing off a picture. Exactly. You yeah. can't do anything when you base them off a picture. Exactly. Yeah. But but uh, but on the men's side, it's helped you out because yes, you have access to more women, but the mm-hmm. negative that's come with that is now it's even more distinguished that a smaller portion of men are actually having sex now. So the men that are in the top 10 to 20% mm-hmm. are fucking all the girls, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But all the bottom 80% of men are literally struggling. Wow. So that's what online dating has wow. done. It's made it even wow. more pronounced. You guys didn't know that yet? Yeah. No, no, I know that. Okay. that. No. Yeah. I'm learning a lot Thank on this you. Show. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let me get my notebook. Yeah. So because there was a, actually, you know, it's funny. I was uh, I was talking with you about it. There was a Tinder study that, that um that basically like the women found like 88 percent of the men is unattractive, and they only swipe right on like five percent of the guys. Wow. On Tinder, mm-hmm. so women become even more selective it's since like they have they all these options. Have to select. Select. Yeah. It's it, like they the, they get the matches, so they're the ones that are just like okay. Yep. And you know what? It's it sucks because some men they don't like taking pictures and selfies yes. and, and they're, they're not photogenic. Yeah. And True. so yeah. but when you meet them in person, you're they're like, look, wow, you look yeah. actually cleaner, better, fitter, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of men cannot yeah. um leverage social media and the internet to, mm-hmm. to date online like like women can because you guys have the privilege of being approached. So mm-hmm. on the pl- uh, so just to distill it now. For the men, the positive is you can meet other girls. The negative is women have overwhelming options, and if you're not a top 20% guy, you're going to get fucked up. Mm-hmm. For the women, you have options with uh, more higher status men, and literally the world is your oyster. The negative is you have the paradox of choice now. Mm-hmm. And since you're dealing with men that are higher socioeconomically, higher status-wise, let's be honest, these guys aren't going to commit. They're going to have sex with you casually and kick you to the curb mm-hmm. with higher status men. So 
that's what I would say online dating has done. It's pretty much morphed the dating field to make things even more pronounced. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Extreme. Wait, what was the question? I'm, I'm oh, no, this is your point to add, yeah. grill us with a question yeah. or to comment, oh. uh, disagreement, whatever you have. Well, this is like for me in South Florida, like all of us, um, the grass is always greener, right? Someone said that earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do girls have to do, like for you guys, for you to be loyal? Ooh. To mm -hmm. not look at that. Well, you can look, whatever. But I mean, like to really look at what you got and be thankful for no, that. No, no, that's a I fantastic question. Like it, it is an amazing question. That's a, that's a very good question because... Um, yeah. I think one of the biggest misconceptions a lot of modern day women have is they think loyalism is loyalty between men and women is symmetrical. It's actually asymmetrical. It's very different. Mm -hmm. A man shows loyalty by being, being willing to die and protect you, right? In times of danger, a woman shows loyalty through sexual exclusivity. Mm -hmm. A man shows loyalty through security exclusivity and protection. A woman shows uh, uh, loyalty by sexual exclusivity because basically both parties have a certain commodity. Women are looking for security. Men are looking for sex. Mm -hmm. So typically the woman is trying to get the guy to marry her so she can secure that security exclusivity to her. She gets access to his resources. The man is marrying her to get sexual exclusivity to her to, so other men mm. can't have her. So mm. it goes both ways. So we show loyalty very differently. That's why I say it's controversial. But when I say a man has sex with another woman, it's not that big of a deal. But if a woman has sex with another man, it's a very big right. deal. Yeah. Well, what's women the solution are emotional. there? Yeah. Like, what would be the solution if a girl's like, I don't want my guy to cheat on there me? There is anything. no solution. They're going to do what they're going to do. <laughs> no, <they're laughs> <not>. <laughs> she, she's being fast, though. Yeah. Yeah. McQueen, yeah. McQueen, how do you feel about that? Uh, I feel it goes both ways, man. Mm -hmm. I feel like either yeah. whether it's male or female, it, I feel like does. like what she said is one hundred percent facts. They're gonna do what the fuck they want to do. Regardless. You literally can't control yeah. them. Whether yeah. or not they've been loyal for five, ten years, yeah. if somebody comes in their eye and for some reason catches their attention, they might forget five seconds because because they're you know, probably you logical. You can't stop them. There's nothing you can do. The only thing you can do is think about what you're gonna do if that happens. Like, if that I will happens, say this, but what I will say is that the reason they do it completely different yeah. yeah there you go yeah mm -hmm. and that's very important the reason is very important yeah. I, I would say this um because you're quite so how do i navigate this now that i know this uncomfortable bitter truth that men are going to cheat regardless or base i always say men are uh, we talk about negatives of women and men men are as faithful as their option so if you want a man that's going to be loyal to you sexually mm -hmm. right the female standard of loyalty you're gonna have to date a guy that might be a little bit lower than you or at your level doesn't have as many options. you're not going to be able to date a six foot three man making five hundred thousand dollars a year and think he's going to yeah. be exclusive to you True. you're gonna yeah. Yeah. you're gonna have to share that man sexually <laughs> but that's okay if he goes and smashes other chicks ladies it's really not that big a deal that's not emotional that's where come that's where a security comes from true mm -hmm. personal security comes from Self-security. Self, oh, yeah. Self, Myron, um, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Confidence yeah, yeah, you go comes after her. from like just, just being okay with who you are and knowing what you have and letting the other person be an individual and letting them experience what they want to in life, which is a very rare thing. Right. Yeah. But. Can I ask the same thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to hear their perspective since it's a whole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. People. Yeah. If you was to ever cheat. Ever, I know you're probably not a cheater, but if you was to ever cheat, what would be the reason why you would? Mm, he wasn't fulfilling my needs. He wasn't stepping up to the plate. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't cheated in a long time, but but she has. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you was to ever cheat, I what have, would be the reason? They weren't fulfilling my needs. I had options, and I moved on. Can you guys tell us just so we can clarify ex what the need was? That yeah, was the, need? Pr the predominant need that wasn't fulfilled, whether it's financial, maybe emotional, Attention. whatever it is attention okay sure. at all mm. i'm just mm. what was your what's your answer to that question um i was hurt like they hurt me so like maybe like revengeful cheating okay. done that. Mm. being a solid angry sex mm. yeah i never cheated i wouldn't cheat i would just leave you like, got you so. being, um, yeah like definitely not fulfilled but that's where you communicate you let them know 100 yeah not Same getting you? the attention or whatever it is you desire I can agree with everybody here. And honestly, I would just leave at that point because you can only repeat yourself yeah. so many times. And Maggie. you can always like try to be patient. You could try to be a little bit more stern. But at the end of the day, it's like, uh, of course, it's a hypothetical, it. though. We're not saying yeah. you're going to run around and cheat. But I'm saying like if you no, were yeah, if you, you thought about it, yeah. what would be the thing that is provoking that thought the most? Yeah. Just like everyone said, just not fulfilling. Not fulfilling. Yeah, okay. Sorry if my answer was a little long. No, no, it's fine. Um, Because <laughs> because so you were saying he I, I got the full answer from her. She was saying that he wasn't adhering to certain masculine traits. He wasn't a leader anymore. Yeah. He was not reliable. And, and you know, Um. OK, yep. go ahead, McQueen. You guys. I'm just saying it's the same thing as last night. Yeah. Everything they said was personal. Yes. 
every single thing that one person said, whether it was, oh, I'm just going to break up with you or not, was personal. Yeah, it's always mm-hmm. a personal thing. It's definitely. not always personal. With y'all, it's personal. Yes, yeah. with females. With females. With, with females. men, though. With men, it's not. With men, it's never. We just want to bust a nut. We yeah. just which is why, yeah. which is why, which is why cheating We're for us. Again, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying you should accept the man that cheats on you. I am not saying that. Mm-hmm. But I am saying is he's going to cheat anyway, more than likely if he's a higher status guy. So just get with a guy that you love and you're willing to tolerate that from po- possibly. It's better crying a, a Rolls Royce than, uh, you know, Tony Sophia. <laughs> oh, yeah. we're so, going to say that song now? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so that, that's that's what I would say. And then the other thing, too, I was going to say is um, just so women can grasp, because I, a lot of women have contention with this when I say you're going to have to share a man sexually. They don't like that because they look at it from the female lens. Like, well, if I cheated on someone, I would fall out of love at him. How could you do this to me? But the thing is, is that, ladies, uh, and I, I'm going to use the Tom Likas uh, analogy again. Sex for men is like taking a piss, right? So when you're a man, right, <laughs> and, and, and you're, you're driving down 95, right, doing on a 24-hour road trip, and you're like, damn, I drank a lot of Coke Zero. Not Diet Coke, because Diet Coke is gross. But I was drinking a lot of Coke Zero, and I got to piss. It doesn't matter if it's like a shitty mobile station or the Bellagio in, in Vegas. He has like, to you got to take a piss. You got to go. But here's the biggest kicker. With men, we can piss standing Wherever up. Wherever you want. Exactly. Women, you guys have to sit down. So you have to make sure the place you piss and you use the bathroom clean. at is clean. So we don't have the same requirements. So that's why guys look at sex so okay. indiscriminately. You know what I'm saying? But if, if you guys have like an issue, why don't you just communicate it? They that's don't need that's to. a they fantastic question. That's a fan- Let me answer. Let me answer. On, I'll tell. I'll tell. Let me answer. The reason why he's not going to tell you is because he wants to keep you on the sexual hook. That's the god honest truth. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to lose sexual access to you because he knows mm. if he tells access. you the truth, hey, I'm smashing other girls, or I want to smash other girls. If his value isn't high enough, you're going to look for another man. Like, um, talk about um, like, let's say it's like a three year relationship or something. Same thing. Same thing. It doesn't matter. Really? But, so you can just communicate it and then sh- you guys can play like weird games together or whatever. So remember, so remember like, how I told you earlier that only about 10 to 20 percent of men are banging all the girls. Mm-hmm. Sex is scarce to most men. So they're going to fight tooth and nail to keep you around sexually, even if that means lying and manipulating your emotions yeah. to do so. Yeah. But if a guy's that's why I tell guys all the time, become high status enough where you can be open with your girl. Say, hey, I want to fuck other bitches. And then she could decide what she wants to do. And if she yeah. says, you know what? No, I'm not with it. That's fine. She could walk away or. If your value's high enough, she ain't going nowhere. She's yeah. going to be like, you know what? Join in with me. It's either going to be A, I'll join in with you, or B, just don't do it in front of me and embarrass me. Yeah, but we we yeah. tell guys on the show, right? Let your girl be honest. up front what it is. Mm-hmm. Don't lie yeah. behind her back. Because right. that's that's like... That's everything. Right? Yep. That's, that's when you get stabbed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's when you lose respect. So let her know up front what it is. She can choose to stay or leave. At She's that point... Real. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about yeah. honesty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, honesty is the... Is the it 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 kills all of that, all of the right. the lies and the deception. Right. Yeah. Honestly, is key. The communication is key. Just decide. just be real with your person. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But let's be honest though, women can't handle the truth a lot of the times. You guys yeah. heard it just yeah. now. But they yeah. have to. They, they have, have to. Get us used to it. Get us used to it. Get us used to it. If the, the guy's worth it though, you will get take us it. Get us used to yeah. it. Yeah. 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 We can operate on coulds and shoulds, but let's let's go off of what is. A lot of women have serious issue with the truth. For sure. You guys just literally saw a knee jerk reaction right now. Those two. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want to hear it. initiate most breakups. <laughs> what do you, show me the statistics. Pull them up. Okay. Well, but, uh, that, that doesn't have a job. Well, they have to end. learn how to. Like, they have to actually learn how the masculine operates in the real world in a biological way. It, it, it's just a real scientific, well, if the were, reality of it. Like, here's the thing, fucking though. be real about it. That's, that, that's true. That's true. But, but let's be honest. Guys can't be honest because if they are, they're going to get canceled. Yes, of course. There's yeah. serious consequences yeah, to men speaking like this. Can I ask you something? We but can't directly speak that's, to men. That's can, I, can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. Right? What is the one thing that a lot of females say? Oh, if niggas would just be honest, it would just make everything very simple. Right? That's <laughs> one thing I'll say, right? You don't ask yeah. me that question. I'm in huh? What would you say? <laughs> okay, go ahead. If I walked with you and I said, listen to me, I think you're very beautiful. I want to fuck you. <laughs> would you fuck me? <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. I, I already but, know you want to fuck but me. But would you if fuck me? Yeah, I already know if you're, if, you, you, if you're trying to talk to me, I already know you want to fuck me. But if I walked up to you woman. and I said, listen to me, I think you're beautiful, straight out. I don't want nothing to do with you. I just want to fuck you. I would be able to, you know, me as a personal individual, like I would be able to tell what, what your intentions are. Would you fuck me, yes or no? It depends. If I said that to you, would you fuck me? His intentions if are literally said what? to fuck you. 
<laughs> if I walked up to you, if he told you straight up, I just want to hook up. No, hold up. Yeah. If I walked up to you, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna tell you exactly how I would. If say you walked up to it. me, if I walked up to you, you're walking on down the street, and I walked up to you, and I said, "Listen to me, I think you're very beautiful, <laughs> and I would just love to just fuck you, no. and never talk to you again." No, I would not. Talk- you I would- wouldn't fuck me, right? I mean, it depends. If you wouldn't <laughs> fuck me. Seriously, <laughs> horny. <laughs> you need to like get off real quick, which is very so fucking basically rare. you would never fuck me, right? No, but I'm not. Why do girls sitting there? We're not talking there's... about honesty in that in that perspective in that realm. Mm-hmm. We're talking about honesty in relationships. That's the same thing, though. Yeah, that's how it begins. It is a relationship. This, this, this is this is a stranger that's coming up to me on the that's street. That's a relationship. No, not talk to them. But, but my whole point is right: is that females sit there and say, "We would just love if a guy can just keep it real." No, nah, oh, but he was trying to just keep it I real. I do with respect you. that. Actually, you know what? I would respect that so, yeah. because, like, now you, I, now you will. No, like, I get it. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but I already know that that just you know what. And I it. might kind of be like, you know, what? I respect you for that. Let's be friends. You would not respect me no, if I wouldn't. walked up to you and I said, I want to fuck you right now. I personally, me, I might laugh about it and be like, yeah, but that's, that's not gonna get him. Myron, what was the answer just a couple seconds ago? <laughs> the mental gymnastics no, is crazy. It's it's that's mm-hmm. we're talking about relationships, and this is a different. Different no, situation I, I, where yeah, you're a stranger right. is walking up to me on the street. I'm if just, you said you want to fuck me, I would might laugh and be like, "Okay, like, what's up?" Like, I appreciate. I your see where honesty. she's going with this because I don't. This is a stranger, so I don't know mm-hmm. if I should take this serious or not. Versus, mm-hmm. like, in a relationship, where you we, we've established rapport to some degree. Okay, I get what you're saying, but what he's trying to say, uh, the, what true. what he's trying to say is that when right. a man communicates directly to women, it's typically met with some kind of contempt or because I, I, here I, you know discernment. What, let, yeah, let, let me let me uh, let, let me break it down for you guys. Let's say you guys are getting ready to go to a nightclub, right? With your girlfriends, right? You guys are all getting dressed. This is a dream world, right? And you guys are getting lit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to live. We got a fucking table. Oh yeah, <laughs> everyone is getting getting all dressed up and doll up, putting their fucking makeup on, getting ready, listen to some music, and then everyone's phones are going off. <laughs> promoter hits girl one, girl two, another promoter. Hey, I got a boat party for more. Hey, I got a mansion party here. Ba da da, right? And then. Becky, the last one to get dressed, comes out in a white dress. But Becky hasn't been going to the gym. She's looking a little uh, chunky, you know, looking a little fat. <laughs> Not one woman in the room is going to tell her, hey, bitch, you look fat. Go change. What most women are going to say, hey, listen, I got a beautiful black dress. It's going to look great on you and some heels to match. Yeah. Here, try it on. And then you're going to tell her to change because you don't want to get kicked out of Club Live. You want to get into this VIP. Let's switch it to the male perspective. Me, Fresh, mm. Chris, Trey, we're getting ready in <laughs> McQueen. Fresh comes out in a white shirt, looking fat. <laughs> Fresh, you look like shit, nigga. Ha, ah, right? We make fun of him. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, fuck you. Whatever. No big deal. But men men can communicate directly and not have mm-hmm. issues with it. Right. Women can't do it. So you guys don't even communicate yeah. directly with yourselves, let alone if a man communicates directly that's with you. That's the whole point I'm yeah. trying to make. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. he's that's trying to a, say. That's all I'm trying to say. That's what he's trying Thank to say. Thank you, Marion. Yeah. 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 So that's that's why, uh, you know, because, and there's a bunch of reasons for that, why women communicate covertly, but. No, Men can communicate the overtly because they the women be on the bush the yeah. same way because they they do the same thing where they say oh I don't want a relationship oh I don't want this and then all of a sudden then they do but yeah. we're not saying this is all women right no not all women okay no, no, no we're just saying women. Some, women some women are direct we're not but, being yeah. we're not okay. blankets well hold on I don't want to use you as an example but how old are you thirty six so I'm direct yeah what yeah. I, but see but you age. It, that that's with your experience and everything yeah. else like that you've learned no but I've I've always been since. You know, I, I was young? in the military. Yeah, oh, you military just had to be. You're yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. This is ABC. You just got to do it. Yeah. The way it is. See, but you're 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 a very <laughs> <laughs> you're a very extreme exception to the rule. You know, because most women don't aren't involved in the military. Most women don't get that experience. So you know, they gotta beat around the bush a bit when they communicate, so girls don't get mad at them and flake on them for brunch. Right. right. So <laughs> I just wanted to add. So basically, since men know that women kind of operate that way where they kind of beat around the bush, like you were saying. So that's basically Here's the scary part. Most guys don't know they that. Don't. Oh, they yeah. don't. But then why do men say, oh, I really like you, but I'm not ready for a relationship right now. It's basically saying, like, I'm attracted to you. Mm. You but, know, I want to hang out with you, do things with you, but I'm not ready for a relationship. Is that kind of like sending her not, down easy? You Translation, you have not way? proven yourself worthy of being uh, my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm going to say this to appease to your ego and continue to get sex from you. Wow, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Facts. Or can I, can I question that? Yeah, sure. Um, on the dating I'm giving apps. out a game. I need, I need I a thousand dollars in my PayPal. This is good. <laughs> so so the, yeah. the dating apps will have an option like what are you looking for? And it's like uh, mm, casual, something yeah. casual, yeah. relationship, marriage, etc. Mm-hmm. Um. The guys that say don't know yet, is it because like what you're saying, hey, 
if you've proven to to me that you know you could be my girlfriend, wife, mm -hmm. etc., I'll switch that up. Fantastic or question. is it because no, I'm not ready? Does despite who you are and what most men, most men cannot afford to be direct with women because if you're direct with women, then your intentions are known, and if your intentions are known that it's sex only, most women are going to write you off. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it always it always is. So yeah. we yeah. have to have that that kind of acceptance. Yeah. About I mean, I it. swipe like, left. We already know. Actually, Does you want to know? Gentlemen? Here, I'll say it even better. <laughs> women it. need plausible deniability. Because here's the thing with women, like with guys, right? It's a dance. You have to be ambiguous enough where she has like imagination where she wants to hook up with you, whatever. But you also have to be direct enough to know to let her know it's man to woman and it's not friend zone type shit. Mm -hmm. But at the same time. You can't make her feel like a hoe because women like if you ne women never want to feel used. Right. So yeah. you got to play the game kind of. So it's a, it's a it's a delicate dance that men have to play to be attractive enough to make it man to woman. But at the same time, not be direct enough to the point where it's crass. Some guys can get away yeah. with it, but most guys can't, you know, and they they don't want to lose the opportunity of box by saying, I just want to smash. So they have to they have to play the song and dance mm -hmm. most yeah. of the time. But if they say don't know yet or casual, I'm the type that will swipe left. Exactly, and that's, and that's that. why men lie. Yeah. Right there, you just proved my point why yeah. men lie about exactly. being casual. No, but I want to get but married. Not, but listen, I, I was at a point in my life a few years ago that I, that was okay, as long as I knew up front. And yep. I looked at you up and down like, all right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't bring in an emotional attachment and we could just right, let it go. That's very yeah. hard to but do what if a it's, woman. It's that hard to do, but to I've do. learned. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because I've told myself, like, well, I've, I've, I don't entertain like casual relationships, but... I have a lot of friends that are like, or even my mom will give me advice. Like, well, as long as you don't put your feelings in, it's like, you know that you're going to get your feelings in it. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's, it's literally, it's virtually impossible to do that. I think for it's, a woman, it's I disagree. Possible. I've I done it respectfully. So, disagree. Uh, yeah, it's, I, it's, it's possible, but the average woman, like it's hard for you to do that. Like yeah, you can do, can that, do that, but at that point you cross a, oh, a line where it's like, oh, you know, I think I have a happy medium here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Women can casually have detached sex, but mm -hmm. they can't do it indefinitely. There's always an expiration mm -hmm. clock to it. Oh, yeah. If mm -hmm. they do it for a semester in college or it's one or two years, that's one thing. But women can rarely uh, have casual sex detached for a prolonged period of time like men can. Y'all just are not built for it. You mm -hmm. might do it for a hot girl summer. You might do it for a lonely winter, but you are not going to do it for years and years on end like men can. So um, that's why guys have to lie because they know. That if I tell women the truth, oh, I'm just trying to smash. It's gonna, it's gonna ostracize them for most women. Oh, he's just looking for sex. Right, right. Next, so that's why guys lie about okay. it so much. Can I ask my question? Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, please. So I'm gonna go back to the conditionally submissive um, thing. Mm -hmm. I think, obviously, you may say like the majority of women, this is not the case. But in my experience, there are not a lot of masculine men. Like, and ma by masculine, I mean when you know people will ask me out on quote unquote date. <laughs> and what people love to say now is let's chill let's kick it as soon as you say let's chill and let's kick it i never respond to you ever again mm -hmm. because as you should though that's yeah. not masculine like that is not masculine masculine is what you said this is the plan we're gonna meet here we're, we're gonna be at this time i'm either gonna pick you up or yeah. you're gonna meet me there yeah. that's that's the plan mm -hmm. and if, that, if you're not doing that then what's wrong with me being not submissive to you you are not a masculine man and you and they no, follow you just don't be no, you just don't be you're not a person. leader so if i'm being submissive to someone who's not a leader like it's the blind leading the blind like, mm -hmm. like i don't i don't get that so i i understand what you're saying like conditionally feminine and conditionally or submissive like uh, like to me it's like in my experience a lot of people or a lot of men are not showing me that they can lead me so it's like why am i supposed to be submissive right yeah. like no no, no. Well, they're not taking it in the right oh, way. yeah no i get that but but here's here's the, the kicker you're gonna know within seconds of talking to him if he's worthy of even dealing with in the first place but That's then that saying. makes me yeah. conditional right no no here's, no 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 because <clears throat> you've already you're you've already assessed that this man is and not now you're being uh, yeah and uh, you've already submissive. you're submissive but you're talking you're a feminine woman like my thing is submissiveness and femininity i'm conflating the two right like it's it's it should be both ways but, you know, some women like to differentiate, well, I'm feminine at all times, but I'm submissive to the right guy or whatever. And what I'm saying is that you need to be feminine at all times. And like the problem is that a lot of girls go meet the guy. Right. Real, realize that he's a loser. But then they say, let me change him. 
I can improve him. <laughs> I can fix this guy guilty. up. That's guilty. the problem. That's the truth. A lot of girls try to fix a dude. Like, like that I can do we it. can't yeah. help it. Like Bob you? the Builder yeah. is 10 girls yeah. trying Bob to fix him like Bob the Builder. So, so you'll know within a few minutes of talking to the guy if he's even worthy of talking to in the first place. But that doesn't necessarily mean choice. that you should come in with, yeah. with masculine energy. A lot of women come in like, oh, rah, 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 this is how it is, blah, blah, blah. You'll know within seconds of talking to him. Even hell, with you, you were able to detect it through text messages. You just don't. Respond. As soon as it's like yeah. Yeah. chill, as soon as I read the word chill or kick it, I never <laughs> reply. It's just like that yeah. to me is like you have no plan, and if you don't have a plan for the simplest thing, which is a date, then you have no plan for your life. Like I don't know. Well, you also got to remember he might just be low investment and not that interested, and not want right. to take you on a date either. Yeah, that, yeah, that but, might be it too. But then he's not that smart because. You know, if, if that if that's his game, I mean, he's not really <laughs> right. But like that's his game. His game isn't to care about getting he's, with girls yeah. and being in long term. But like his he game just, is, but that whole tonight, tomorrow, and the had, next day, whatever. But that whole discussion that they had, you have to like do the dance. He copied and he pasted that dance. to a lot of girls. So well, he's well, gonna well, be. Well, also remember, keep in mind, I w I had the caveat: a man can only be as direct as his options. So like, if a guy has a lot of women that he's dealing with. He's going to be far more direct because mm -hmm. yeah. mm. he doesn't have time to waste. Because right. the, the, the God honest truth, you might you ladies might not know this. A guy that's really good with women mm -hmm. has to talk to 10 girls to sleep with one. Mm -hmm. And that's top tier. You're a God. You're, you can teach the shit. So the closing percentage is actually very difficult. And it's much. Uh, the, so you got to talk to a wow. lot of girls to get sex. Women are harder to. Way harder. Please. Wait, you guys need like, to general. learn something about that, though. That's not. What was that? Learn it's something because about. women. It's have not something that guys can learn. It's something that's innately a, a, a female trait that they 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 want more things yeah. than males. Yeah, they more require standards. more. What the fuck was that? Than males do. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I might. I might. Freaking out. Right now. What? Okay. What? You saw that shit, right? What? <laughs> okay, what? Nice. Anyway. Okay. Sorry. What? All right. So when when guys act like they're interested. Naturally, females will have a guard up and mm -hmm. they will respond to that male like all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. But when a male, this is, this is psychology, when a male acts like he's not very interested and he's not trying so hard, the woman will be a little bit more intrigued and mm -hmm. interested in, in the male. So it, it's a psychology thing. Then all of you men... If you act like you're not interested and you don't try so hard, you're probably gonna get better results. Hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I one thousand percent agree. It's with not that. just psychology; it's like opening a, a in space. I and one it's like million, a I thing. one million percent agree with it. So yeah. Yeah, um, you're welcome. But but hold on, that doesn't that doesn't change the fact that like that's that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Is yeah. that uh, or, or are you just trying to I guess to double down on what I was saying that like you, you, the less investment you show. I don't think she was yeah. trying to challenge what you said. Oh, I think okay. she was just trying was to give confused. a perspective. Okay. Of, yeah, that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, the less yeah. you care as a man, the more attractive you are. Yeah, you know, because because yeah. the, the, the reality is most guys care way too much about what women think and are very outcome dependent. We teach guys to be outcome independent. independent yeah. You do what you, you want. want. Yeah, she yeah, can yeah. take it or leave yeah. it. Yeah. Non-attachment. You know? It's yeah. not about playing a game or being artificial. It's about being not attached to the outcome. That comes from internal. Yeah. An see, internal source though. of being not attached. Because when you're not attached, you're not reliant upon anything outside of yourself. You're just allowing yourself to be as you are. Mm -hmm. And that in and of itself will attract things to yourself. Okay. Now here's the thing. I'm going to challenge you a little bit on that. It's easy for you to say that as a woman because the options come to you. You have the privilege of being pursued. For mm -hmm. men, it's very difficult to learn that mindset. Mm -hmm. We tell guys you need to have an abundance mindset and be ready to move on to the next girl. Guys don't have the same abundance mindset that women do because y'all can open your Instagrams right now. Hell, after the show, you guys are all going to have DMs of guys. Try, I'll fly you out. I'll hang out with you, whatever. <laughs> yep. And men, I agree. You, you take a man that has a blue check mark, athlete, whatever it is, He's not going to get the same amount of attention as an average looking girl. And that's the God honest truth. Men have to fight tooth and nail to get sex and to get uh, to no, get the to same get sexual access. That's, that's, or a, anything. that's a perspective. No, no, it's not perspective. It's, it's reality. Yes, it is. OK, can I make an example? Individually. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. OK. Sorry. If, if you don't but um, OK, if you're going to go out to a bar 99 percent of the time, who is going to like get free stuff? The okay. women. OK. That's it. That's all I wanted to add. Okay. Um, I think she's saying what well, she's trying to say. We're not talking is... about getting free drinks at a bar. We're talking about an into a relationship with between male and female. That's a relationship between a male and a female, though. We're not talking about 
getting free drinks at a bar, though. No, it's not, that's not what we're talking about. Okay. All right. The The point here is that um, for women, uh, I'll make it nice and succinct. Uh, men have to earn their abundance mindset. Women naturally have it by virtue of being a woman. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. that. Like men have to earn it. Like I got to get out there and talk to girls. I got to maintain, keep myself attractive. I have to work at this, you know, because if I'm not out here continuously sourcing, it's sales, getting yeah. leads, right? If I don't have leads, I'm not going to have uh, sales and closing. But with women, the leads come to you. So, hey, yeah, I have an abundance mindset. Oh, this guy doesn't want to take me out there. Fuck him. I got another couple guys in my DMs right now. Ultimate abundance mindset. Yeah, women really have a What's yeah. your question? I agree with that. Question for the men, right? Yeah. We're still on that. Okay. Yeah. Or for hey, you want to talk with a lot of ladies too. Yeah. I mean, whatever. whatever. <laughs> no, I have a question for you guys. So, what's your current relationship status, all three of you guys? And do you guys still believe in marriage <laughs> or see yourselves getting married? McQueen! Can I answer? Ah! <laughs> I don't believe in marriage in terms of contract. Okay. I believe in marriage in terms of spirituality, mm, if that okay. makes sense. Yeah. For, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you really love this person? Mm hmm. Okay. If so, cool, marry him. In you guys' own right. Signing a contract, I don't I don't believe in that. Okay. Because like, it's a business yeah. transaction then. Dave Chappelle said it the best way. It's a diabolical contract that you should not sign. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is. The goat. You yeah. should not sign that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Because yeah. not even just for the male, for the female. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. It just means everything is conjoined. For what reason? Okay. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So my whole point is, I just, I definitely believe in marriage, just not contractual. Uh, exactly. And your yeah. status? My, I'm single. And you guys all agree with his marriage um, statement, right? Uh, pretty much, just because like for a guy, there's no real, real benefits, and if he does do it and make that commitment, the girl can walk away and just take half. Yeah. And honestly, in in my humble opinion, I believe that if you want to get married, you should have a double do it outside right? the, outside the states or or without the government. At that yeah, point, yeah, that is yeah, true love. Yeah. Because yeah. now she can't say half my shit. If you break up, we walk away equally. Yeah. But if you involve the government, now you know what? I'm tired of this nigga. I don't want this nigga no more. You know what? I'm just gonna walk away over here. And then she's half her shit. How is that? Is that fair? No. So for a man, honestly, don't get married, nigga. <laughs> he's, no, he's not in the U.S. No or... material involved, which changes the game completely with marriage. Yeah, in the assets, United States. kids, everything. You know. So. And that's what I was trying to explain to those two low IQ individuals on the show earlier, that the, the reason why we have an 80 percent divorce rate initiated by women is because women are 100 percent incentivized yeah. to divorce because they benefit 99 percent of the Bro, time. Yo, right. Dennis Rodman literally married himself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, hey, you know, what I'm saying like because because marriage in today's day and age, simply put. Never sign a contract with someone that's incentivized to break it for financial gain. Exactly. Right. Period. Like, right. So for men, it's extremely dangerous. Well, to that get tells you a lot about Dennis Robin, though. Is that why the fuck did he do it to himself? He's based, man. He was like, hey, hey, I, I can't divorce myself. <laughs> Boom. So when when you have children, yep. does anything change with that dy that dynamic? Because mm -hmm. now as a uh, um two unmarried individuals, if we do break up, oh, good question. And then now I'm gonna be a single quote unquote mom. You know, so and we have the numbers. Um, women um, almost overwhelming over ninety percent of the time get custody of the children. Yeah, mm -hmm. the child support is paid from the man to the woman. Alimony ninety percent alimony is paid from men to women. So it's and and you said it earlier too uh, perfectly. If if women made more money, they'd be they double think uh, they they double and triple think uh you know divorcing. But since most women are intelligent, right? Women are much smarter about marriage than men are. Women don't date don't marry men that make less money than them most of the time. They don't. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, and women aren't going to put themselves in a position where they can get divorced and destroyed. So it's the guys that end up paying for this and they lose the kids. They lose, they have to pay child support, whatever. Divorce cripples men, man. So some of them don't pay child support. So, I mean, I'm thinking and they go to jail. Yeah, they yeah go to jail. I think yeah. women, there's serious consequences. Yep. Yeah, it does get taken so, out of their wages. Yeah. Does that, That's or, yeah, why I don't have children because it's like, Hold on. I don't want to put the, the kids in this predicament where they're going to be traumatized, used as pawns or et cetera, mm. because we're yeah. here fighting yeah, about true. parental, you know, um, responsibilities. Mm. But if I'm married, I'll be more inclined to do, to have children with that of course. person. Of course. But yeah, so I mean, it, the, the for catch, you, you know, for, for you, yeah. but, yeah. but most, I, I hate to say, I don't want to stop, demonize women, but most of the time when children are used as pawns and, Used as leverage, it's, it's, women. The, women it's the women using the children against no, the guy. It's yeah. true. Because and then the a lot of times men of the time. won't fight, and then they'll grow up thinking, oh, I was neglected, abandoned, and yeah. et cetera. But yeah. 
it's like it's something I don't want them to have to deal with. That's why, like I said, no yeah. children. <clears throat> Marriage is um, also a religious thing, though. So yeah. even, there are many traditional men that are religious and under those like constraints of their religion marriage is one of those things so a like sacrimony right mm -hmm. so you advising someone to choose marriage i mean i guess they would have to consider their religion as well because you know i wouldn't i personally wouldn't want my kids to feel like they're okay i don't want to offend anyone sure go ahead no, say like it. they're say it. You, you, you like they're bastards. Not a fresh fit. Okay. Like right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a true definition, right? Yeah. There. And, that and, is you're, and you're not defending anybody, by the way. You're just yeah. being honest. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. obviously we're the same. I just because I believe in that, I wouldn't mm -hmm. want my kids to feel 100%. less than. But yeah. but we're saying you can get married. Just get married in the church, not with the government. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Sorry, you have yeah, to answer your question. Yeah. So a marriage, uh, don't sign a contract with someone that's incentivized to break. And then me personally, single. But I, I do want to say this because women like to ask us all the time. Are you single? That's why you're single. <laughs> I, I, here's the thing. When a man is single and has options, he wins. Exactly. When a woman is married with a man that she loves, admires and respects, she wins. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have different goals in life. And as a matter of fact, men and women are adversarial. Men want to bang, bust nuts till the day we die. Women want to <laughs> get security with the best man that they can. So you know, we got to, we got to, that's why marriage was put in place. People have to give up certain things. Men have to give up the ability to want to spread their seed and bang other chicks. Women have to give up, you know, getting security from multiple men and uh, giving their sexuality to one guy. So marriage, real talk, is a compromise mm -hmm. uh, to allow both parties to kind of get what they want while having the other one compromise to, to some degree. Yeah. So a single guy that can get girls, this is why like you meet an athlete, celebrity, whatever, what do they do? They just fuck around and bang chicks because they can. A lot of guys are monogamous by necessity, not by choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, you didn't say your status either. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm single. Okay, so everybody say it. Okay. Right. It's a W for us, though. W. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walking W. Yeah. Congrats. Or, um, out of dating, like, what is, what is your plus, like, not, not your plus, what's your favorite part of Crush. dating besides, besides sex? Mm -hmm. If you date. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Like, so our you're pluses and negatives? Okay. Yeah. Our, our plus and negatives? negatives. McQueen? Uh, I'm sorry. Besides, <laughs> you, okay. Oh, <laughs> what are your positives oh, no, no. and negatives actually, no, he, dating? He did already. Oh, okay. yeah, sorry. Yeah, he did already, actually. Yeah, what? Right. what? Oh, you, you did know. this question already. Yeah, yes, I don't think I did. So yeah. I said you. the positives and negatives of dating people without talking about sex. In the modern Without day. talking about sex? Yep. Sex. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did. Besides answer that sex, yeah, you answered earlier. I think he you can answer it again it. if you want to, but I you, you answer I'll, it. I'll answer it again. Yeah. Okay. What are the positives <laughs> and negatives <laughs> about dating? Have you ever like gotten anything from being with a woman that you just met, you know one night stand? Are there any positives or negatives or anything? Yes. Uh, okay. What is it? One what's time. One? Okay. And then what's the negative? That's fine. What's the negative? <laughs> The one time that I did guess. you say not including sex? Yeah. Isn't that sex? That's what she said, yeah. Right. Um, the one time was um just complete support of who I am. Complete right. support of who I am. Um, genuine uh understanding of who I am. You know, and I'm looking at you right in your eyes right now when I say this. Like a nurturing type of <laughs> nurturing? No. Like what kind of support? Just understanding completely who I am, what I do, what it takes to do what I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What goes into it. Understanding that I'm so a genuine. you want somebody that understands what you do and what, how hard it is for you to do what you do. How hard it is. Right. Understanding the work that goes into it, the right. back end. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? I think uh, most people. And also that. understanding that even though I'm doing all of that, I'm still genuine to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important. Okay. All right. Oh, for me? Yeah, you guys all have to answer. Um, <laughs> the benefit I see from dating. Um, <laughs> you, can, you can make it about sex because apparently we can't. So no, 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 no. It's not, it's not about that. It's more, it's more like, I'm be, I'm be honest. Go ahead. That's the point. The, uh, the, there's, there's no real benefit. I mean. Okay, there you go. So then for, move on. But personally for us, I mean, we happen to... Uh, have a podcast yeah so if the experiences we get from that you know meaning people seeing how our advice correlates with the current dating market 
Mm-hmm. That helps us give you better knowledge over time. So I'll just say that. Okay. That is good. Um, okay. So uh, positives and negatives, I wrote it down. Uh, okay. So the positives by far is, for, for me now at least, is gather, you know, meeting different women and gathering data on how modern day women think. Mm. And then being able to compartmentalize this data and bring it back out to our audience and let them know. Because a lot of guys really struggle with this, yep. uh, dating girls and figuring out. I mean, hell, we got 12,297 people in the house right now. You could be anywhere else, but you're here with us right now. <laughs> and there's no dating. There's no channels out there teaching guys how to get girls. Mm-hmm. Sorry, teaching women how to get guys necessarily or how to have sex. But there's plenty of channels out there teaching guys how to do it. Because it's a serious problem for a lot of guys. Myron mm-hmm. so, and Fresh, can I ask you a question? Okay, I'll just uh, answer this real quick and do then do your thing, brother. Yeah. Um. So, uh. So, just so I don't lose my train of thought. So, uh. So I would say for me, it's like learning how women operate and then like reporting that data back to the guys. That's what I enjoy now because now we can actually talk from infield experience. Okay, guys, Instagram is important. You need to do it in 2021 to get girls. You yep. need to have it in your repertoire. You need to get out and talk to girls at the clubs. You need to talk to girls. Um. Uh. You know, through online dating, you need to use everything in your arsenal to meet women. You got it's sales, right? A bunch of leads. So I like being in the in the game in the United States, one of the hardest cities to meet women and reporting back and teaching the guys from our experiences. The negatives, um, the bullshit that comes with women. Let's be honest. You know, women are extremely fakey, flaky, fickle. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I always say there's a reason why they say it's called I'm a man of my word and not a woman of my word. You know, (laughs) women don't necessarily take uh, um, their word to the same seriousness and accountability that men men do. They can. But here's the thing. Not as much as women. Yeah. Like men. It, I know. If a dude cancels a date on a girl, that's gonna be rare, man. Yeah, like he, most of the time, he ain't gonna flake on a girl. But women flake on dudes all day. All day. Mm-hmm. Hell, as a matter of fact, the reason why we're so popular is because guys are dealing with flakes. Flaking is like eighty to ninety percent of the most guys' dating problems. Hey, let's meet on this day. Sure, I'll come. And they just like decide that. Oh, sorry, I come in with other plans. Like, wow. You know, it is what it is. Like women flake a lot, and you know, it's very difficult for guys to like, you know, um, to navigate. You know, female BS and emotions. It is what it is, you know, because women are never the same day to day. You guys constantly change with your emotions. Mm-hmm. One day you might be happy. Another day you might be sad. One day you might be on your period. I'm not feeling it. I don't want to put my makeup on. I don't want to hang out. So it is what it is. So um, the negative is obviously all the BS that comes with it. But, you know, it's great because now at least when I do it, it's like, all right, well, mental note. Now I learned this. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Don't make this mistake, guys. And then we're able to report back to the guys. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, it's a very weird. It's a un- it's a unique, I guess, plus a negative because of our position great podcast nice job yeah this is a great idea yeah <laughs> thanks yeah. thanks right. a lot Next. of guys have issue with it you, you had a question what about you comment good question no, no? i like what you said yeah all right super chat cool super chats oh no mcqueen has some mcqueen has some yeah mcqueen has some. You, you have a question i honestly forgot man <laughs> <laughs> okay. all right uh okay about sala rayo uh men will behave in a way that women reward if you reward bad boys, all men will aim to be bad boys. If you reward liars, everyone will lie. Shit, that's very true. Correct. Women, yeah. you are controlling how the men are treating Ooh, you. Think yes. about it with an open mind. I like that. You, you allow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, paranormal soldier. The paranormal soldier. The bus. Watching these ladies cap night after night is giving me superpowers. <laughs> I'm getting stronger. I can throw caps with incredible force, and they return to my hand. Soon I will become Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, the, the, you guys are fucking hilarious, man. Yo, eight, eight, nine. Nine. Possible, Possible unpopular, unpopular opinion. opinion. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Casual sex is a myth. It's the most intimate thing you can do with another person. It destroys women and hollows out men. A lot of society's ills can be traced back to devaluing of sex, thanks to the BC pill, birth control pill in the 1960s. Oh, no. Ace, I agree. I, I, you know what, Ace? Oh. I see. I see we're coming with that. But I'm Myron and Fresh, can I please ask you guys something? Okay, go ahead. I really don't know what red pill and blue pill mean. Red pill is the matrix. I don't it's know politics. what that means. No, it's, it's, it's the can matrix. Can you guys please tell me what it means? It's politics. You so watch the matrix. Stop acting like I know what it means. Like you want to do it on air? I mean, we could. I mean, you want me to just give like a quick? Do you want to give yeah, like yeah. an eighth of mushrooms? I literally give no, 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 no. no. Um, <laughs> simply, all it is is uh, the Matrix. You know, uh, he, you know, he gives them the blue and the red pill. The blue pill is like, hey, uh, I'm going to continue to believe this false narrative, this lie, and live in La La Land, right? Like mm-hmm. a Disney fairy tale. We'll give you the red pill. And then the RP is like, I'm going to see the world for how it is, right. it, yeah. it, regardless of the uncomfortable realities and and bitter truth. But most so people that yeah. take the blue pill think that they're in reality. So yeah. the red pill. Yeah, I'm like sorry. those two crazy chicks from earlier. Yeah, <laughs> their feelings. Listen to me. I, I'm not trying to disrespect any of you guys. I just want to hear it from Myron one more time. Just yeah. To hear it so clearly. it's um, what is the difference between red pill and blue pill, please? The blue pill is um, the how do I say this? The comfortable lie that you can mm. live in. Blue pill. Your blue pill. Okay. The comfortable lie, like women love you for you and nice guys win and Which is false. it's okay to be a gentleman, shit like that. And then the negative, the the RP is the uncomfortable truth. 
women date men that are higher than themselves. Women are fairly pragmatic when dating and fairly selfish. They want the best of the best. Yeah. And uh, they don't care. Like women love you opportunistic. Got it. Yep. So stuff like that. Like the, sure. the biological truths between men and women. Uh, right. Drew Haynes, uh, definitely going to get a prenuptial agreement. <laughs> yeah, you should, man. And get it from a good lawyer and update it uh, continuously. We had a full podcast on that, how to run a uh, prenuptial agreement with our lawyer, Jen. So check that out. Uh, and right. then what else? Any other super chats? Are we good? Okay, All right, guys. Up. Tomorrow um, we got Zuby in the house. Oh, yeah. We'll we do got a podcast Zuby. with Zuby. Uh, probably like around 7.38. Probably, probably right, Trey? Um, no, Trey, uh, Trey, it's gone. Oh, okay. Trey, Trey. We had to dip. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We got work tomorrow. So, um. Yeah, that's, this was a great show. Yeah. yeah. Um, guys, all the ladies' uh, Instagrams are in the description box. Go ahead and give them a follow. We had a great panel of ladies here. Guys, thank you for being good sports. And uh, also, thank it. you for bearing with us with the two uh, castles. the two uh, stupid girls from earlier. Uh, <laughs> thank you for teaching us. You guys yeah. taught us some stuff. I yeah, thank you. Can I ask you something, Myron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does he know to do that right on camera? Oh, dude, I have it memorized. I literally have the soundboard. Like, I have like little emojis on oh. that shit. So, like, I, I have it memorized. Uh, well, well, are you controlling it or yeah, is Chris controlling it? it? So, I have yeah, a soundboard so- here and Chris has one back there. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, Chris has another. Si- Yo, put, put your 691 real quick. Stupid. Yeah, that one is, is actually. <laughs> but the one mine. that just happened before the one that, that was mine. Yeah. Was yeah. Stupid. Yeah. That's mine. Okay. So yeah, but we. It's funny because then yeah, the, the audience knows who hits. Like, how does he know that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so guys, thank you so much for checking us out. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, McQueen stuff is below. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, yep. guys. Uh, watch it with McQueen and then McQueen. Uh, great re- uh, reaction channel and also uh, the prank channel with all the vlogs and everything else like that. Great content. Check it out, and then um, and the then, ladies will be below. Quick side note, man. Yep. Today, McQueen called Flight, and he might be coming on the show soon. Thanks, oh, McQueen. Lit. Flight is going to be on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Shout out, hey, that's fun, man. Thank you for setting that up. Yep. Um, and cool. yeah, I guess we're gonna we're gonna guys we're gonna give the outro with the with the legendary McQueen scream. One, two, two three. Ow!